Anglo sent me a carton of cigarettes in the mail. Said I was getting out of control here. Where the fuck is everybody? We said we were going to go live again. Are we live now, bro? Yes. So how have you been, Sasha? The song is still playing. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to uh, come back. They think it's over. They're all screaming about Brian. So how have you been? How have I been? Well, after we streamed yesterday, uh, I should I just tell the honest story? Um, Go on. The truth will release you. Yes. As people know, I I I, uh, I like to sell myself out and be very honest. So after uh, I was done yesterday with our stream, I was sweating and sweating and sweating and sweating and very miserable. And then I went to bed early last night and I woke up in sweat. My blankets were everything. I was covered in like it, it was ridiculous. You hear this sob story soaked. justifying his degenerate action squad? So, yeah, it sounds like I went to like the gas station and I got some cigarettes. I did. Sounds like excuses to me, buddy. <laughs> I, I, I feel <laughs> hurt one. and betrayed. You know, Smoke's me and Squire were one. nothing but supportive of you. Yeah, giving Squire's up the going around saying I'm still smoking the whole damn time. Meanwhile, I'm like fucking miserable. What okay, you, I smoked some weed. About? Okay, I smoked some. What are you weed. talking about? I was oh. your biggest champion. Yeah. I was literally telling everyone that I believed in you. you no, you do yeah, this he's going around going. You, uh, you know, Princess really. Sp I heard him smoke. I heard him. I heard him smoke. Thing is, the thing is, the thing is, we all heard you smoking on stream. 
Oh no one God. bought the it's an empty vape story. Like, holy shit. It is true. That is actually true. Not only that, but yesterday you admit on air that you broke your smoke fast, I guess a week in, to smoke weed. Yes, like, I come did. on, bro. It's yeah, hard to give up everything, man. What do you want from me? You have no willpower, buddy. You have yeah, no fucking I have willpower. willpower. Like, what the fuck? Listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. It's fucking NPC behavior. I am like, smoking. I'm smoking right now to deal smoking with it. Smoking right now. Does the specter of a skeletal gym in a fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell not give you any pause for thought, person? Oh, please. No, that could be you, buddy. You smoke that more than I do. You. you hear it, Squire? Ah. Oh. Oh my god, that is good. <laughs> we have been nothing. <laughs> we have been so nothing good. but supportive. We've <laughs> ah, gone that is so you. good. Yeah. Oh, dear lord. I could go back to not being a huge pain in the ass. I thought you guys would be relieved after listening to me being manic for two. We're weeks. relieved you've betrayed our trust. Well, I how did I betray your trust? I I told you literally. Soon she called me. I told you I broke. No, you, you lie. We heard you the other day puffing away, oh and now you God. tell us that you magically last lie. night finally broke your. No, street. I really no, did. Buddy. You, you've been oh lying. To Are us you this really calling time. me a liar? I can't you've believe you, Squire. I love you more than anybody else. Trust, You're going to call me a liar. Betrayed our trust. Literally, my brother. Oh my! I can't God. believe you. I can't fucking believe you. I can't believe you have the nerve to listen. It's like having your family yell at you on a right live stream. I know, you're literally smoking right now. You betrayed the yeah, well, I am, not I am only did you betray right us. Now. You betrayed the chat, buddy. You betrayed, betrayed the chat. Yeah. You betrayed everyone, buddy. Well, everybody was Piece of you shit. know, Smoke Spit came to me last night and he told me just have a smoke. Also you, you really you know that's what you really want to do. You wanna have this smoke. You wanna feel that smoke in your lungs. You know, I've had to shred. I, as you're se sitting there smoking away, I'm having to put through the shredder at least three that? scripts that I had already that's written. What, it's got, that that's what it sounds like when I'm really smoking. You hear it, Square? The scripts, the scripts that I had written had set up a whole arc where we needed to grift for Persip's cancer fund. Persip was dying of the smokes. We needed to get in the treatment. Well, we I were really did grift wanna... your corks through. I really did want to quit smoking, so I guess I'm just gonna have to give up weed for now. I couldn't give up we I couldn't give up weed, cigarettes, and coffee all at the same time. It was too hard. <laughs> it was so hard. Holy fuck, buddy! You're just addicted to all of Satan's vices, aren't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, I know. I yeah. Uh, I know it. I am addicted. You're addicted to caffeine. You're addicted. To I am addicted to caffeine, big time. Drugs. Not as bad as you're Brian. I'm not doing a five-hour energy cigarettes. six hours a day. Every like six five-hour energies a day. What was he doing? Celsius's six Celsius's a day. You know what Brian no, wasn't don't, doing? Don't Brian deflect. wasn't smoking, bro. Yeah, don't try to deflect on this, buddy. Yeah, Brian you wasn't know. smoking cigarettes. Well, it's your fault, Adam. You're the one who got me addicted hey, to smoking. Don't anyway. blame me. For your addiction. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Why are you trying to blame other people for your own problems? Like, what the fuck you is this You cannot, shit? you cannot, if you're a smoker, you would know this. Some G. So it I'm says, not, when you drink your coffee in the morning, you always accompany it with a cigarette. Or your vape, you smoke. And when you drink your cup of coffee and you can't smoke, it is the worst feeling ever. It's horrible. You feel miserable. <laughs> you just... Look at him cackling now that he's inhaling Satan's smoke. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I yeah. am cackling about it. Literally seduced oh, by Satan. It's such a relief. This now I can deal with everything. I'm not a neurotic mess. I'm not as much of a neurotic mess. I'm still a neurotic this mess, but I'm not as much as a This explains why Percep's a homosexual, because he just thought, it just, you know, no self-control at all. Did you really want me to quit smoking, buddy? I know you're a We all did. It, it wasn't did. just us two. It was like yeah. the audience. Oh, please. Was, I mean, so, I. you know who I feel most sorry for? 
the man who actually did believe in you, the man who was like oh. sending me and Squire DMs in private, going, "I'm really rooting for Persip," and that's Andrew. <laughs> you didn't betray us. You betrayed <laughs> Black Coast Kermit. Uh, <laughs> you think he's? Well, Squire's going. Well, he's he's still smoking anyway. It doesn't even matter. You were smoking anyway. Why no. though? You why? Why? Smoking, why are you smoking? smoking a joint, you bro. Oh, like, I'm a you're so let's on. expose let's expose Godwinson right now. Let's do a little expo. Yeah. So Godwinson called me yesterday and he goes, "You know what, man? I tried to quit smoking, and they gave me everybody in my life. They everybody wanted me to go back to smoking. Everybody wanted me to do it. And sometimes you need a vice in your life." And I said, "Do you really?" I did not say these words. <laughs> I have no idea what you want to You need a vice in your life. Come on, you're like you're a neurotic mess. Just just smoke. Just just control it a little bit. Don't smoke as much I as think, you were. I think Persep is under his own snake gnosis spell from fucking all this snakery and shit. I, I think he's he's too much yeah, Godwinson did yeah. try to stop smoking and he failed too. <laughs> he lasted as long as I did two weeks. <laughs> Because I was a neurotic mess. Uh, the great smoke. I feel debate. I should clarify, Persip, that I didn't break my smoke um, fast with various joints, bro. I feel like you have crossed a line here. Yes. Okay. And what is your solution? Don't smoke. Yeah, don't smoke. <laughs> Well, oh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, uh, he's going to try it again, folks. Are gonna we going to believe again. him yeah, this time? Are we going to believe him this time, boys? Are we going to believe him this time? Mr. Fribble says being like, gay is enough of a vice person. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he's right. But, uh, you know, why didn't you chew nicotine gum? I'm not chewing no nicotine gum. Just chew the gum, buddy. I'm not going to make a concerted effort to give up the nicotine, no. Oh. I'm going to lie to you instead. Well, how are you get? What's the difference? It's still nicotine. The nicotine is the problem. It's still nicotine, whether you're chewing it or you're doing... Uh, I think the tar tincture. is the problem. The tar on your lungs that you get from smoking well, the I got a vape. Yeah. I got a nice Do you want to be a... This, do you want to be a fucking is... teenage... Pina colada. I was inspired. <laughs> it's a pina colada, mate. You hear how he's changing his story, Squire? Last night he had to go to the gas station to pick up cigarettes. Now it's a pina colada, mate. Well, what's the difference? What's the difference? I think Persip just wants to be a teenage beat ninja turtle like Jim. I think that's what it is. You want to eat the dog, bro? Yeah, you want to eat the dog? Do you want to fucking... You need uh, an Asian wife for that. Only Asians know how to prepare the dog. You want to fuck some fat Asian, Asian woman? And uh, not make any children with her? You want to be the father to Shannon Gaines? <laughs> yeah, you want to be, oh you want to be daddy? Uh, well, then, I think that is a reason. I, being, I think probably Gator's father is smoking everything that he can get his hands on at this point. Don't you think? Well, his dad's like Native American, so he's probably like drunk and smoking everything. Well, yeah, he's he's native, so you know how they are on the reservation. They can't get enough of that uh, that white man's uh, fire water. I just want to say I think it's such an evil thing that you've done, Percy. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe he lied to us like this. Lied to you? I just told, I literally told you the truth. No, you didn't. You've been you've been lying this whole time. Oh this whole time. See, you're, you're pulling you're pulling a film. You're pulling a DSP where you lie about something huge to mm -hmm. cover up the fact that you're lying about all these little all this little shit. You know. Yeah. Like, you're so this is your WWE smart. champion, buddy. This you're is your WWE a smokeless vape. You're like, so yeah. It is a small. It is. I'm just, it's a babe. I'm just. Uh, I'm just puffing on my thumb, you guys. I'm not puffing <laughs> on. It's a um, it's a geek bar. It's a pina colada geek bar. And how many joints have you had accompanying this, bro? Yeah. Zero. I haven't smoked weed since. Uh, I'm trying to think. 
He can't even remember the last time. He can't time. even remember the story that he relayed last night. That's what he's trying to say. Tuesday. When I Tuesday. Tuesday. I already admitted to Squire I smoked the weed. Do you hear this, Adam? He's talking about the joints he's going to smoke in the future. I smoked the wacky tobacco. <laughs> I think it, that was Tuesday. But Tuesday was here really right good. now. So <laughs> it's really Five good go. weed. <laughs> you know when you get a whiff of the weed, it's real good. You got to smoke it. Well, that's what happened. No, weed is disgusting, bud. I don't know what you're oh talking Oh my god, Squire. Squire's such a teetotaler. We gotta get Squire some weed. I would love to see Squire high on some weed. <laughs> we gotta uh, hey, don't! Hey, 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 don't try to you corrupt me. We gotta, yeah, yeah, we gotta get Squire oh, hooked up. We gotta get Squire to smoke. I would hey, love to see I mean, Squire. I am not joining you in the synagogue of Satan, but I would love you know, to see Squire right. high. Can you imagine? No. Squire's giant ass high as a kite. No. I would love to see that. <laughs> I really would. You know what I'd love to see you? You know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see you not be Come a on, degenerate give me a Christmas, addict. Give me a Christmas present. Let's smoke some weed together. I'd just love to see some honesty from you, bro. Yeah, that's all I want. You want to see some honesty? Well, I am being honest. This is what this whole thing is about. Giving you a chance to publicly shame me. Are you lighting up another one? I can hear yeah, him lighting. lighting up another one. I hear him. Yeah. Are you are you are you lighting the pina colada vape or is it a cigarette? <laughs> you can hear me lighting up something. We can yeah. see you lighting up on every stream we've done for the past two weeks, bro. Oh, you are such a liar. Maybe he's lighting some scented candles, buddy. You know. Of course, <laughs> it's just a candle, guys. Uh, you the heard candle. you heard me lighting something. Yeah. Oh my god. You guys are unbelievable. What am I lighting? What am I lighting up? The Squire would only do MDMA and magic mushrooms. Would you do magic mushrooms, Squire? I think that would probably no. be bad for Squire. Dad, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think Squire can handle it. Let's try weed first. <laughs> the magic mushrooms. I don't, I don't do drugs, okay? Uh, I'm not I had a pretty magical experience on magic mushrooms, so I wouldn't... Uh, I'm sure you did, buddy. Yeah, I did. I'm sure you did. I've had a few magical experiences with <laughs> magic mushrooms. <laughs> Was that? Did you get them from the old guy from AOL, buddy? The old guy from AOL? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's lighting the menorah for the SIDS. Yeah. Can you hear me lighting, lighting up the, the menorah? menorah. Oh, buddy. I'm gonna try again. Oh come on! Uh, Listen to this. I'm it's like the boy again. who cried wolf here. It's like the Brian who you cried. You know I've tried a few. Here, I've tried a few is. times, but I really love the smoking. I don't know what to say. It's kind of embarrassing because I never ever thought that I would. Uh, if you asked me even like three years ago if I'd be smoking, I'd say absolutely not. Why would I do something like that? It's just a is, hopeless addict. But. This is the yeah, it's addictive substance. I wish it I didn't think work so thing well. The about you, person, isn't the smokes necessary? It's that you're addicted to the weed, bro. Addicted yeah. to the weed? Yeah. You know I'm not addicted to the weed. Oh, buddy, come, come on. on! How many bro. times, Jack? How many times has person been high on stream? Oh, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a lot. Oh, a lot. <laughs> oh my god. I've been high on stream a lot. Especially when I was doing the shows with Ralph. I would get really Busted. high for those. Well, listen. Yeah, don't I, work play a, Ralph I work a tough job, yeah, man. The weed, man, it melts away the pain, man. Person was literally like a no siren to get Ralph to relapse the other day. You hear trying to blame Ralph? Yeah. Why? It's like talking to Shaggy yeah. from Scooby Doo at times, bro. You're, you're <laughs> saying I got Ralph to relapse now? I don't think Ralph yep, needs any did. help. You broke Ralph's sobriety on a stream by, you know, the reality and is on the high stuff. There's really no difference him between my personality into high. his child's face. Yeah, why would you do such a thing, person? Why I are you trying it. to grift off of Ralph's you misery? Broke the man's sobriety. Listen, if you watch that live stream, well you would know. You were not a sober man. 
that I didn't Ralph, realize you were six hundred pounds, buddy. If you watch that stream, you would know that Ralph demanded that I pull up that clip and put up a poll. So, would you give a loaded gun to a suicidal person, buddy? I don't know. Would you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you Depends would. on who it is. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> They'd rather you die of a fent OD than smoke weed. For shame. Snake behavior, Ralph should destroy you. Uh, I agree. Well, I don't know what to say about that, man. Are you really disappointed or what? Is there yes. real is there real genuine disappointment? Absolutely. I think you need I'm to disappointed that we've had to listen to the bullshit for two weeks on every call. Yeah. Well, aren't, you, aren't you tired of listening to it? On every stream. Me bitching about not being able to smoke. There's nothing like it. There's nothing that um, gives you, me serenity. You were like, oh, I'm smoke free now. It's so great. I was feeling really good uh, the beginning of last week. And then over the weekend, I was really feeling like trash. And uh, enabling a recovering addict. <laughs> Uh, Ralph never really loses Percep. Be careful. Well, yeah, I mean, look at me. I'm a hypocrite. I said I was going to stop smoking and I cracked. I cracked. The... What made you want to stop the smoking, though, Percep? Let's go into that. What made what me want to stop it? it? What was the catalyst? Brian. Yeah, what was the catalyst? Brian was the catalyst. Listening to Brian be completely schizophrenic. Uh, in a phone call made me uh, want to stop smoking because I felt like what am I doing with my life I just listened to a completely psychotic man tell me that everything is not real for like two hours I don't know what you're talking about I haven't been on the internet for six months I'm not doing anything yeah, I flagged your videos. I have my own private contact at YouTube, but uh, I don't know what's happening. I never watch any of your streams. I don't know what's happening. Uh, you know. Uh, How can just you sit apologize. there and blame Brian? Oh, well, the amount of I can blame Brian. Already in this call, mm -hmm. that you've blamed other people and not yourself. Well, it's clearly Brian it's is not fault. going out there buying packs of cigarettes and then lighting them up and putting them in your mouth for you to inhale. That's How not do you Brian. know that? He did it. Brian, the uh, the spirit of Brian, and he went in my mind, and he said, "Just smoke, person. Smoke, smoke to deal with all of your problems. Just smoke all your problems away in a puff of smoke." This is the same mentality that PPP uses every time he eats. He blames Ralph. Yes. <laughs> he blames Ralph. <laughs> I bet you he does. <laughs> Well, I was able to lose all the weight, at least. That wasn't that difficult. Giving up the food wasn't so bad. It was the, uh, the smoking. Brian is actually smoke spec. It's possible. I believe that smoke spec was a sock of Brian that only I could see in my mind. You know? Is this silence? Now I'm getting the silent treatment. That's the. This is the level of disappointment I'm getting. What more do you want us to say, person, other than express our disappointment over and over and over? Again? I don't know. Squire had a lot to say. Now he has nothing to say. We started the stream, and now Squire has nothing to say. He was screaming at me before and now. <laughs> now Squire is completely quiet. I'm just fucking disgusted with you, buddy. Honestly, I'm just disgusted. I can't believe you. <sighs> betray our betray our trust i'm starting to think that brian was right He's that's brian where out. i'm at right now yeah I i'm starting to think that too how was brian right maybe you're the one that's schizophrenic buddy Spell maybe brian out. is the righteous one well it's how, pi, that, I, the, I always told you that was possible <laughs> well maybe it is buddy i i think brian was right about you buddy yeah you are a fucking snake. Jeez, Squire. You piece of shit. <laughs> Jeez, Squire. 
create our trust like this? <laughs> oh my god. What do you want I, from I'm, me? I'm stunned that we're half an hour in and you haven't even apologized to Andrew yet. Like, what a piece I'm of sorry. shit. I'm yeah, sorry. You haven't apologized Stop calling him like, Andrew. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Stop calling him it. <laughs> Uh, I apologize, Blackface Kermit, for uh, this betrayal. Can we summon Andrew? Does Andrew have anything to say about that? I think Andrew's gone off for a pack of spots. He ain't ever coming back. Now, <laughs> you think he's you think he's long gone? Um, is there anything else to uh, now? What what was the intro into the stream again? <laughs> Besides shaming me for the smoking. This is boring as fuck. Well, I, I don't know. I, I, there was a little more vitriol going. Now we don't have any vitriol. Well, it's vitriol, but it's like just disappointment and shame and, and quiet. Which is the most uncomfortable. But it's not particularly interesting to the audience. Well, I was expecting to see some sort of accountability person. Not you blaming Brian for all your problems. Uh, it is my... Uh, ultimately, of course, it's my fault. It's my life. It's my fault that I uh, that I decided to go out and buy a vape last night it's definitely my fault I definitely broke but you know sometimes you need a little bit of you need a little vice in your life I'm gonna All try right, to I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to give it up tell us a gay story what kind of gay story do you want a blast from the past. Well, you know, uh, you start smoking because uh, things are difficult in life. And you need a little... Especially when you get older, you know? When you get older, you need uh, a vice to deal with uh, being an adult, I guess. So that is my excuse. Is it a good excuse? Of course it's not a good excuse. I don't know, buddy. I don't smoke, and I drive a Tesla, so... <laughs> well, look at your teetotaler, Squire. Don't you what think you've got enough vices, Percep? What are all my vices? Isn't this a vice, uh, bro? Homosexuality, well, we're cigarettes... All, listen, we need... <laughs> this vice, I mean, what are we gonna do with that? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. We, we were gonna take you to that fucking gay conversion therapy thing that Milo was running, but you didn't want to go. Yeah, well, and he used the same excuse last time. Remember that when we were gonna? Work. Remember we were gonna enroll him in that, and then he said, "Oh, yeah. we all need one vice, buddy." As he racked <laughs> up three others. I mean, it's just a little righteous electrocution, buddy. Like you can handle it. I don't think it worked for Milo. I don't see any results there. <laughs> I don't see any results. Milo has me. a wife and children now. He's in a contest yeah, with Nick Fuentes that? to impregnate a woman, isn't he? I saw well, the contract he signed. So there's no wife and kids yeah. yet. He's trying to get one. They've got till Christmas. Well, trying, Something buddy. tells me he's I don't think trying. Milo could get it up for a woman. Doesn't he have like a giant black husband? <laughs> I don't think Milo is going to be fucking any women anytime soon. Check to sodomy clock. The clock struck 12. See, Adam, there he goes again, trying to get someone else to relapse. The irony is, I, I haven't been a sodomite for a, a while now. Maybe I, that's maybe that's a problem. Maybe that's why I'm smoking. Maybe I have to go back to the sodomy angle. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the problem is that you're a degenerate addict person. And it yeah. stops there. <laughs> you think I'm a degenerate drug addict? Well, yes. Brian agrees with you. He's a drug addict! I mean, the amount of times me and Squire have sat here on stream, you've yeah. called us, you've summoned us to come on a stream, He's a and it's been so technically incompetent. That it might as well be streamed by. A well, what do you say? If Brian is right about me, Brian says that you're fucking prostitutes in a, and doing coke in uh, motel rooms. <laughs> don't, don't, don't change the subject. <laughs> yeah, don't change, don't change the, the subject. subject. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? If Brian is so right this about me, what about you? you? About Brian, what about you? Like, you know, 
The only thing about Brian is that Brian was right. That's the only yeah. thing that we need Brian to say. was correct. You doxed Brian his wife, bro. See, the chat agrees yeah, with me smoking over Sodom. <laughs> He literally told Adam to pull it up on here. He's a drug addict. You can't talk to him anymore. He's doing cocaine in hotels with uh, prostitutes. He fucked a lady. He's lying. He's in love with her. He's going to betray you. Brian was. See, I haven't been gay for a while, guys. I'm just an innocent Persian snake. Yes. <laughs> Do you see how the snake recoils and starts to mock when you, you know, get close to the truth? Starts yeah. spitting his venom. <laughs> yeah. He starts spitting his venom. Well, that's true. It could. I mean, that also. You know, I never thought about it from that angle, chat. That might be part of the problem. He said, I broke up with the person I was dating on and for like a few years. And, uh, that's definitely, that's definitely pushing me towards the smokes. I got to solve one of these issues. Definitely do have to solve one of these issues. I don't know what I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do that. How do you think I'm going to do that? I don't Offering know. you any advice would be just wasting. Do you think we need bro. money for rehab? I definitely couldn't afford to go to rehab. I'm not paying for your fucking rehab. Well, no, the audience could pay for it. <laughs> well, why would they? Why would they? Why would they pay for your rehab? You know how you could pay for your rehab, bro? If you stop spending your money on cigarettes and weed. Yeah, and you got a fucking job. Like, what the fuck? Well, the weed is cheap. Cigarettes are much more expensive than weed. At the end of the day, per month, per month cost, it's like five times, for sure, six times maybe. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of excuses. How much do you spend on smokes a week, Adam? I don't. I don't smoke. <laughs> you just smoked on the last stream. No, he didn't. I don't he know what you're talking about. He was just to the camera. Is it's that another one of my hallucinations? Yes. Just like Smokesnick was a complete hallucination. Well, they want to send me to Milo's uh, conversion camp, so you can pay for that as well. You could uh, put in whatever you want me to spend the money on. Because Mr. Swivel says, I'll donate for electric shock treatment. Okay. I'll accept that. <laughs> you have to apologize for some. But you, you Godwinson was blameless. Him. It was expected of him. You have to live stream. You it, platformed Brian's wife's docs on your channel, going after a hetero man, a family man. You did. That's true. You yes. tried to break up their marriage. Too. Clearly, I'm more guilty than uh, Godwinson. <laughs> Even though I, I was just doing what it was my. All I was doing, even though Godwinson opened up the stream and said, "Person, I'm gonna break every rule we discussed," <laughs> but uh, don't take down the stream, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. Painful. <laughs> Can I blame it on Ashton? Who could I blame it on? Who would be valid to blame this on except for myself? I'm taking the Brian advice. Who could I blame this on? I, I could blame it on you guys. Oh, don't you're gonna turn this on us. I could blame it fuck? on you. You're gonna turn this on us when we were nothing but supportive. Yeah, yeah. I could pull a Brian and blame this on you. We were loyal, buddy. You caused me to smoke these cigarettes, you piece of shit! You ruined my life! I have pop-ups in the mail! How am I not supposed to smoke? But it comes off as schizophrenic as Brian. <laughs> it just comes off crazy. Maybe instead of seeking blame, you could just blame yourself, buddy. 
Yeah. Yourself. I think you need to open the floor up now to allow your loony bins. You wanna to you wanna yourself. open the yeah. floor up, call on channel? Yeah. Let them flay you, bro. Because all I can express is complete disappointment and feelings yeah, of betrayal. Yeah, I, I have nothing else really to say about this topic, so... But I'm pretty sure there's people in the chat that would like to have a frank and candid conversation with you about this. Okay. Alright, we'll milk it. Give me a second, I'll, I'll make the, the server. I mean, how many times do you have to invoke Brian's name in order to... I know. Literally, I've, I've told person, you know, stop talking about Brian, but every stream is Brian this, Brian that. Brian this, Brian that, the Brian voice. Yeah, the Brian Same voice. Same recycle Brian memes on a loop. <laughs> I can't help that. That is a family, buddy. <laughs> is man is right? a, a normal guy a working man. a job, a family man. Average Joe. Well, when I said let's leave Brian alone for Christmas, what did you guys do? <laughs> you... My children are in that video, you piece of shit! Oh, look, Brian is actually in chat. That's actually you, Bri Bri. Brian1 is actually Bri Bri. Is it? Oh, it's a fake Brian sock. Oh, come on. Can you believe it's a fake Brian Well, his sock? handle is, in fact, at Persip's Rope. It might well be Brian. It might well be Brian. Rope. I'm going to do this <laughs> song. We'll play this in. Uh, let's jump over. We already have callers ready. All right. I'll be there in a minute. I'm yeah. Stop. Give me a minute. Give me a sec. <laughs> Should I just go over there by myself? Yeah, I'll come. I'll come in. Okay. Okay. I'll be in there. To... Hello. What do you have to say? So I have to listen to the stream here. The other two are just talking to you. Yes. No, I mean, yes. So I have deep here. throat. Deep throat got a new voice filter. Hold on. Perhaps. What I'm saying is, uh, is the stream, do I have to like listen to it to hear the other two, or I'm just talking to you right now, but also yes. the stream? Tell me, Deep Throat, what are your thoughts on this? Do you blame, do you blame God, Winston, for this? Because I do. Well, I mean, everything's really not your fault, is how it goes, honestly. Everything's somebody else's fault. You know, everything is Brian Dunn's fault, PPP's fault. I think we all need to take yeah. personal responsibility here. As one would say. Well, it, it kind of is PPP's fault because he's fat. <laughs> because he, he's eating out of control. Uh, he said horrible things about right? me. How am I supposed to deal with that without smoking? You're going to be going to like, uh, you're going to be going to the hospital for lung cancer. They're going to be telling you it's over for you and you're going to hospice with well, the gym. Well, the vape is just, it's, like that, that, it's, it's water vapor, right? With that sweet nicotine that makes everything feel so much better in life. I'm like, sure some of you are actually like, like way happier than <laughs> what I'm smoking. I'm sure in a few years it's going to come out that like those have cancer, cancer's materials, and like probably a lot, a lot funnier when I'm not smoking because I'm very manic. Do you think I'm, I'm Why is that? the content by smoking? But I don't know if it's because you're smoking. I think you're just cutting the content because you can't go to New Horizons there. New Horizons? What the hell is New Horizons? People want more. So they want the people want more nectar. They don't want to be stuck in you know, the flat circle of time. Hmm. 20, 2020 or 2018 never ended. It's still going on. It's an endless, it's an endless loop of PPP to Perspic, to PPP to Perspic, and Brian Dunn. And it will well, never maybe ever. I got all these addictive habits from hanging around PPP for so long, watching it grow to something like that. Haven't you been at A log more than, you, than you've been on, on his team, though, at this point? Uh, it's probably 50 50. <laughs> it's probably 50 50. 
I don't have the uh, vitriol for Ashton that perhaps other people have. Not Later on, you know, like a, if you were like a if you were like a step away from becoming a medical doctor, how are you this neurotic? Hmm. If you just like go into the patient or like you know you're being watched by the what's it called a fellowship or whatever you're doing, and they're like, you know, I'm one of the head doctors watching you, then you just like had a panic attack. I don't think that's true though. I'm sure a hospital environment's far more stressful than like talking to Brian Dunn. You think a hospital environment is far more stressful than talking to Brian? I uh, guess because... Uh, I'd say uh, having experience in both of those fields, I would say... Uh, hmm. Hmm. I gotta really think about this. Which is more stressful, working in an ER or Brian? Well, I really have to think about this, bro. Like... They're pretty almost equivalent. They're pretty much almost equivalent. Who's making well, chirping noises? Are you making chirping noises? I think this is telling me it's Tree Lane's doing it. Oh, it's the Squire that's doing it. Squire, why aren't you talking? Buddy, I, I can't do this if you're going to be doing the fucking robot voice the whole time. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Well, I'm just doing that for Deep Throat. Hold on. Okay. Squire hates the role. Squire hates, sometimes in a, in private calls, I'll do it to him just to annoy the shit out of him. I'll put on one of the filters. Oh my Squire, god. Uh, Squire hates Kino and Nectar. That's just the... Yeah, I could do this voice, Squire. How about like this? Well, oh, be... person! Don't use your real voice. What are you doing? I could do this oh voice. God, Why are you using your real voice? I could do Adam, this voice. Adam, did you just hear that? Person used his real voice. <laughs> my real voice. This is my real voice. That's your that's real, voice. real voice, Squire. That's, that's his real voice. voice. Yeah, that's the it's certain fucking... voice. The audio that's filter is dropped. He just did his real voice. Uh -oh. chat. That's his real voice. Can you imagine if I was? Uh... Can you imagine <laughs> that I choose my real voice as a voice that was, you know, like the voice I use for streaming? That'd be terrible. Terrible. I can imagine that you almost exclusively yeah, yeah. used this voice when you were talking with Ashton and all those conversations I recorded. Oh, Ashton, eat for me on the camera, sure. please. Ooh. Oh, That's yes, finish off that family voice. bag size of potato chips for me, baby. <laughs> that's real. That's what happened, though, objectively. That's not <laughs> happened. <laughs> you think that's what happened? Could be. But Could that is, be. Uh, those calls are lost like tears in the rain. I think I think like uh, Gator would probably get off to that voice. It's labeled as elf in the. Uh, that's I'm a stunned. Ten thousand year old you elf jump, princess voice. You jump down of the call with me and Squire. You jump onto a call with you know Logopolis here, Deep and attempted to get out of any attempt of accountability by deflecting away at all and sundry, repeating the same line of defense that you just used at me and Squire, you've learned nothing. Well, it's a you good just line of defense. responsibility there. Of course it's, it's my Brian's fault. It's fault. It's <laughs> fault. It's, it's, it's everybody else's fault. It's not fault. anybody else's. In reality, I'm behind a fault. voice changer person. You know, like, what, what are you doing? I wasn't hiding behind a voice changer. You are right now, buddy. Go back to your real voice. <laughs> Go back to your real voice. Yeah, the chat should hear your Would real voice. Would you guys voice. talk to me if I sounded like that all the time? You want me to go back to That's it? That's why we asked you not to. Squire use the hates voice. the voice. He really hates the voice more. So Which one do you use? Do, he goes, Shut the fuck up. Can't take this. Which voice do you want me to go to? Yeah. The voice of confession, the voice of accountability, the voice of truth. Maybe that voice, bro. I that think you need to use that voice to apologize to everybody, to Ralph, I'm, to Brian, to PPP, and yourself. I'm sorry, everybody. I mean, it's my fault. I take full accountability. I love smoking. <laughs> and, uh... I'm weak. I, this is I, what you're going to sound like if you keep smoking, buddy. That's how you are going to sound. If you don't close this CVE percept, the universe will suffer an entropic collapse and you'll just end up like Jim. Well, my. my you will die if you tower. 
<laughs> my bones are gonna turn to glass. You know, he's been saying that for one year. I was going through his Reddit, and they were like posting about a year ago. And a year ago, he said he had two weeks to live. I can post this if uh, I could find it, but um. Jeepa, what do you think of these revelations that he's in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle clamshell now? Do you believe him? No, these are the same revelations he did two years ago. He's been saying this for three years. Yeah, but we've not had him. We've not had him be suited in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shell before. I mean, this is he new. might have said he was in some kind of he breaks before. He posted. He posted a thing from his doctor saying he lost 25, 20, 15 to twenty five percent of his vertebrae height from like his bones collapsing. I'll give me a second. I'll post it. This is like two years ago. So I mean, this is like the same thing over and over again. Okay, deep throat. Yes, give us the uh, the scoop here. Let's do a little comparison. Do you think Jim even has any bones left, or do you think he's like a, just a, a giant slime now? He's like Kirby. Yeah, he's like Kirby. <laughs> Fucking in them dogs. <laughs> I don't play Fallout, but somebody who did told me he's like the master from that game. I don't know how true that is, but they uh, told me it was a funny comparison. Yeah, so let's talk about uh, nicer things, like Jim dying. <laughs> well, let's, Can you feel let's the sunshine? Hear, let's, let's, in fact, dip into the future, Persip, and, and meet what you'll become. A specter of your own doom. Yeah, because Jim is your future, buddy. Let's okay, be honest. Yeah. It's all from a year ago, by the way, these posts. You're going to be living... You're going to be living in some house that the pay pigs in the chat bought for you. You're going to have, instead of some fat Asian woman, you're going to have some little, like, little Asian man cooking mm -hmm. for you. And, like, washing your feet and shit while you're dying of, like, A little cancer Asian AIDS man? This doesn't little sound Asian. so bad. A little Asian man. You want a little Asian man person? Is that what it's all <laughs> This doesn't sound so bad. I mean, you're, you're going to guarantee me a little <laughs> Asian guy? I always had guy? you down as a big black bull man. I don't know. A big black ball. No, I don't want a big black ball. No interest. Oh my god, these these tweets do throw. Holy shit. And these are from when? Well, he thinks everybody forgot these lies, so he's telling new ones. But he's just recycling the old ones. I just don't know why he's decided to include the uh, the clamshell in the new ones. Why would you admit to wearing a big clamshell? Well, his bones are constantly breaking. And it makes no sense, like, how, if all of your bones are breaking and turning to dust, how are, are they magically healing and mending back together? But he has no congenital disease, by the way. He has a possible one, but they don't know what it is. It's even not though possible. He's the, it's it's not possible. All of the congenital diseases that you could have for, like, a bone, you know, like... There are a variety of diseases, like, he could have Ehlers-Danlos, he could have, um osteogenesis imperfecta like hot wheels he could have any of these diseases and they would cause him to have glass bones like this and they're easily identifiable they're all you know when they did that dna test they would all come up if he had any of these but jim is so rare he's such a you know such a treasure to humanity so unique that he has a, a disease that is undiagnosable that he miraculously lives through every time. So not only does he have the lottery, like one in 10 billion of a completely undiscovered disease, but he's winning the lottery every year by mysteriously surviving them. He's also winning the lottery by getting, see a one in one million chance of getting TB in 2018. All right, if who wants to read the these? Does anybody want to take a shot at reading these? Please? I think you can go ahead. Go okay. ahead, bro. All right, we'll read this one first. Because this is a different part of his spine. And I don't and know Elaine how he's voice. feeling pain. In what voice? The Elaine voice. The Elaine voice? Okay. It says, uh, Elaine voice. Okay. I'm going to need a match suit to take a shit at, rate, at the rate things are going. Given the recent downward trend in associated costs, I'm I'm probably going to end up streaming again here and reopening the merch shop for a bit. You know, to graft off this fake illness. This will be a short term until they load me up with as many goofballs I'm drooling. I mean, this could be worse, I suppose. 
I could have had a Mexican whore steal my purse! Looks in the sky. Thank God that for that not happening. That sort of tragedy might have been too much. I'll post info when I have it. Probably at the end of the month. We'll see. And this is... X-ray spine, three lumbar view, lumbar back pain, CT chest, abdomen, and pelvis. Says new L3 superior end plate compression fracture with approximately 15 to 25 percent of loss of vertebral body height. No evidence of retropulsion of fracture fragments. Normal lumbar uh, lordotic curvature, mild. Con Mild convex, less scoliotic curvature with apex at L2, just like Elaine. Mild degenerative disc height loss at L3, L4, and L4 to L5. Mild multi-level lumbar predominant facet. What is that word? Arthro... Arthrosis. Arthrosis. I think that... Uh, arthrosis. Non-obstructive uh, bowel it, gas pattern. <laughs> yes, Where's go it? ahead, German man. Uh, people in chat are saying uh, PPP just uploaded. They want to see the video. PPP just uploaded. Do you want to see this? Yes. All right, we'll come back to you, Jimbo. We'll come back to Jim. Hold on, I gotta just move this up so it's in front of all the images for right now. Okay. Let's pull up this new PPP video. What's the new PPP video about? Uh, I don't know. Apparently it was uploaded uh, just now. Okay. Oh, it's and him with Andy. Oh my god, what is he wearing in this? What I don't understand, who dresses him? It's green, I don't think it's uh, showing. I got wet. Oh, hold on. I'll share my, my screen here so everybody can see what's going on. Oh, we are on share screen. Okay. It's already done. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna cut the music. Oh, good lord. What is that he's wearing? What is that outfit? Also, wait, 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 pause it, pause it. What's going on? His hair looked kind of normal in the video yesterday. Now his hair is back to looking like fucking Britney. Well, I don't know. He clearly, like, dyed his hair. What, what is his fascination with dyeing his fucking hair? Like, what is the fascination with that? He, he needs, he's an attention whore. And, like, also, all attention yeah, whores, look, he keeps... Look at the background. Look at all the children's decorations that they have in the black background. Clearly, they're just trying to attract as many children as possible to watch the stream. I mean, look at Ashton's very colorful shirt. Kind of, you know, very colorful. You know, like a clown. Well, Andy obviously barely did anything, but PPP. <laughs> I don't know. That, that had to be expensive. That's a lot. Well, of the thing is, it, it, Andy do. wants to. Andy wants to come off as a serious one. Yes, because Andy doesn't want to be seen as goofy. No, he doesn't want to be seen as a clown. Ashton, however, clearly wants to be seen as a clown. Uh, but do we really believe that PPP put all those decorations up himself? Like, that is a lot of work for him. Almost looks like he's like sitting on a set dollars. or something, doesn't it? Like, it where the hell like is that? Screen. It's like a green screen almost. It's bizarre. And he's got like a Jim Sterling skeleton in the background. Uh, we know it's not a green screen. It has to be real because he filmed the last video in there. If you remember, it had the Jim Sterling skeleton and we was talking nonsense. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean... We had a different camera angle in that video. So mm. it has to be real. It's not a green screen. Well, he seems very happy here. He probably just sat on his shoulder. Baby, it's good to be back. 
You think there's a bowl of candy somewhere? Refreshed. Thank you guys. I don't for think us... I don't think a bowl of candy though to lure children is gonna last more than five seconds. Ashton's gonna eat all of it. Take that break. I know there's fucking people out there who work 10, 20 years Ooh. for a company. Don't get to take a month off. We're so blessed. Life's Thank so you. wonderful. But we've invested back in the studio. We've got costumes. You haven't seen our costume for today. We're not going to spoil it. But I think it's going to be a fun it's one. You guys are going to like it. Oh, my We're going God. today. Oh. We're going tomorrow. We're going the next day. And the next day. And the next day. Boom, Because we have boom. a lot oh to God. get caught up on. And we just We're posted doing, uh, this. We can cuck it up, by the way. This season we can two. Cuck it is on the <laughs> this gun road, we can so go resubscribe if you canceled. It was really good, by the way. Subscribed if you are subscribed. It was really good. If you good. never subscribed for, I think that was actually my favorite cuck it up. It was so fun. Yeah. And our energy's done. higher. It feels better yeah, now. You know? I feel really good. I yeah, feel really too. good. But we're doing kind of a recap show from September and some newer stuff that's happened as well. Some newer we're stuff. Talking about. Ricada. We're doing the Ricada recap. Yeah, baby. Ricada recap. Newer stuff. Ricada. Ricada. Recap, newer stuff. Ricada. <laughs> Ricada. Has anything new happened with the Ricada case? By the way, look at the background. You see that fucking screen above Ashton's head? Yes. That's literally what Phil has. That's the Phil screen. Yeah, version. that's that's the DSP. Yeah, that's screen. a bigger version. Phil told yeah. him to get it. Yeah. Phil definitely told him to get that. He's on me, Felton. We got him like talking about going to rehab. It's kind of sad. We learned fucking nothing. We've got Aaron talking about how Rakeda always would lick his it's face. It's very sad that someone's trying to cure like their addiction. A... Who's trying to cure an addiction? He just said it's very sad that Rackets is talking about going to rehab. Oh uh, well, yeah. But wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a good thing, buddy? No, because... It's a Christian man, by the way. Christian man. Wow. The absence of Christianity. Why One not? time thing, but apparently <laughs> it was like every day. And if that happened, like more, like one time, maybe you can live with it. I'm still trying to really get over this with... outfit that he's got on. Where do you even find a button-down shirt that looks like that? Where did he find that? I just, who is dressing him? It's got aren't those little, little like. Aren't those little, little pagan sons? sons? Yeah, it's little, little pagan sons. sons. Yeah, little, little satanic sons. sons there. Little satanic yeah, sons. Yeah, little black uh, sons. The one time Surfer isn't here and PPP mysteriously wears new clothes <laughs> that we haven't seen before. You can hide. But then if that was a continual. He even like, got a was bright Aaron? red. Aaron he, you'll even see, he even went so far as to get a bright orange microphone. For his roadcaster. Oh, fucking <laughs> dick. Holy shit. We got Rikada. We're talking about Hassan admitting to being a cock. Uh, but PPP yeah. never even cleans his toilet. How is he enough energy and enough willpower to do to, to all this with his studio? I mean, I are they for it. real with this? They're, they're breaking news when they come back. Is Rikada has a case that's been going on for what? How many months now? Let me count here. Well, we're in the end of September, right? So September, September, August, July, June, at least four months old. Because I don't think there's been any real updates besides Aaron perhaps getting arrested. I uh, know that there has been an update the last two days. What's there the update? Was, uh, he had all his motions denied. Did you hear this? It's been the, the, the omnibus hearing. Days. Yeah, I know what that was. It yeah. was kind of a long shot. Especially, yeah, they already I mean, dislike him in you... that court, so. Also, that's a great spill, by the yeah, way. But Look if at you that. Want to duck yeah. Me, that's going to be big news. I guess, yeah, they'll talk about the omnibus. That's like a 30 minute They're segment. They're talking about fucking Hassan. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, I mean, Hassan, Bo Little Blacks. Does their track. audience even know who Bo, Bo Blacks is? Sticks Gropes Woman? That happened like a month ago. I mean, Beardson the drunk. Is Beardson, Beardson drunk. 
Like, how many viewers does Beardson get? <laughs> Beardson drunk. Beardson gets like sub 10 viewers now. Beardson drunk. <laughs> Headline drunk. news. Beardson got drunk on a live stream. Every live stream, Beardson gets wasted. Or he used to, anyway. And then Ralph first DSP, I knew that they were going to try to force that down everybody's throat. Oh, nice. we've got the sticks, hex and hammer, grope gates. I talked with Ralph. Oh, yeah, so Adam teased it, but... Uh, I talked with Ralph, and he thought that doing that Rocket Man thing was a great idea. So I'm hoping to see that from him soon. You mean Memphis Man, buddy? Memphis Man. He's a Memphis Man. Burning out his fuse in space all along. Saga! You know, in all honesty, he should do both. He should do Rocket Man and then Memphis Man. Hmm. I want to see both. You want to do some riding, Squire? <laughs> the Memphis man. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we gotta hit the. Uh, maybe we gotta hit the old pen and paper for that one. But he's doing oh. like, look at Aston's face. He's doing all like the fucking meme like SJW faces. Yeah, I just don't understand why he always insists on dyeing his hair. Just well, what's going sense. on with his hair? His hair looks completely different today than it did in the video from yesterday. And yesterday he kind of looked like a fucking really fat Pat Oswald. Now he's back to just well, looking we'll like a fat comparison. Like woman. We'll show a comparison. It looks better than Britney. It does look like look at that. Yeah. Like he has like the Pat Oswald hair going on. I mean, he looks like a child molester, but other than Aww. that, like, it, it's kind of normal. Because <laughs> he has, like, he's like, wearing a black shirt, so he it, it kind of hides how fat he is. See, I was but, thinking he, uh, the first image I saw of was, like, literally Jim Sterling. Except Jim Sterling put his outfit on the skeleton in the back. But it looks like Jim Sterling to me. Early Jim Sterling. Look, look. I'm telling you, he looks exactly like Jim Sterling here. Early Jim Sterling. Look at this. If you could find early Jim Sterling. Let's see. We'll have to go back a few years. Before it became whatever he, whatever monstrosity Jim is now. Oh my god, we got to scroll for a while. <laughs> I think what he is now is just current Ashton Parks, really. You think Ashton's gonna have, gonna look like Jim and become a pro uh, trainee wrestler? I mean, he's already there. Isn't we he? went too far. He's already there. Maybe we have to go back further than five years. Where is the Jim with the red sunglasses and the? Here we go. There we go. Look at him here. Look at Ashton. I mean, they're the same person. <laughs> Look at it. It's the same person. Oh my. He's just missing that fucking hat, which I'm sure yeah, is. He needs a like, pair of red sunglasses one. and a hat. How much do you want to bet one of his Halloween costumes is just going to be Jim Sterling? I think it's possible. It's a, literally it the easy. skeleton is dressed funny. up as Jim. You think that's intentional? The skeleton has the Jim Sterling hat on. Look at the skeleton. By the way, do you boys recognize that shirt that the skeleton's wearing? It's the one that Ashton used to wear. Yeah. For when the casino first started, but it's it's too small for him now, so he had to put it on the fucking skeleton. Yeah, we uh, here. I'll show. We could show that. I imagine that's still on here with the Squire intro. It might be. If not, it's on his. Uh... What you call it? It was a pretty new channel, if I remember. All the old streams were on Daka Daka, and Daka Daka was deleted, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was on Daka Daka. Yeah, so it's on his Odyssey. I guess it's not on here. If you could link that to me, Squire, I'd appreciate it. Why do I have to fucking do this shit? For well, because an the That's audience the doesn't want to watch me search through fucking videos. You know what I mean? <laughs> it sounds like an attic excuse, buddy. All right, let's get back into this. But he does look. He's got this. He's becoming more and more like Jim Sterling every day. You know what would be really keno? 
if at the end of the month his last costume isn't Jim Sterling, but Stephanie Sterling, <laughs> oh my be god! Transition. Oh fuck! And, uh, You're the ruse is revealed. The problem, the reason why he doesn't have a problem with scamming his audience anymore, is because he became an SJW, and he hates all right wingers and gladly takes their money. Well, he does hate right wingers, yeah. That's the thing. He does. That's real. Being yeah. this woman on camera, she's clearly uncomfortable. He also hates he's her. creepy. He's, he's drunk. He's like on a full on alcoholic arc. He's cheating I mean, on his wife. Yeah, his kids, he's not seeing, has nothing to do with them. Then well, this he likes girl that money. he's grown. She's talking about sticks? Yeah, he's talking about how Six raped a woman on stream or whatever the fuck. Well, he just... It was really uncomfortable. He just leans over and grabs her tits. But that was like over... That was like six months ago. Six weeks ago. Hoping has this whole history on Kiwi Farms this, where this she this says thing. Styx forced her to have an abortion. Yeah. Sounds like another lying whore. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shocker! A lying Whoa. whore was a whore and then blamed a man that she was a whore. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa buddy, buddy, That's a whole show. <laughs> I would be so ashamed if I ever had an abortion. Yeah. Oh. This is such normie tier shit. Ashton, keep covering the normie tier stuff, bud. It's really gonna end well for you. Trust me, buddy. Yeah. Really gonna end well. <laughs> it's a really great idea to call detractors pedophiles on Twitter as well. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's very, a good cap. I'm saving that. Smooth, one. very smooth brain. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's very. This is very normie tier. It's it's frighteningly normie tier. I think I didn't fell asleep, by the way, chat. No, I'm still here, bro. I'm still here. Oh, I'm just not missing. <laughs> so, sorry, one sec. <laughs> Probable Alright, we'll find Bow! Aim, don't break. Where is he? He passed me the new! Uh, there yeah, he is. There it is. That's, it's the same fucking shirt. It's the same shirt, yeah. He was much thinner then. He even sent DSP his crown. Did you know? Did you realize that that little crown that Ashton's wearing on his head? He sent to Phil. Did he actually send this crown, or did he send a similar-looking crown? No, he, I'm pretty sure it's the same crown. Welcome to the yeah, show. The show folks. It's the show where I sit down and take a fucking dump. It's the new golden age. So true. This time, everybody gets paid. P P P and you know who didn't get paid? Oh, you know who didn't get paid? Brian Dunn. Yeah, Brian didn't get paid. Where, where, where's Brian's money person? Um, ask Ashton. Ashton still owes him that money. I don't owe him a dime. It's not like. See, here's my thing. Um, it's not like I yeah. got extra money from Brian's portion. I just got my the allotted amount of money that I was supposed to get, period. So, it's all nonsense. I broke a job at McDonald's. McDonald's is not going to say, oh, I'm give you, I'm going to give you all the money for all the workers and you pay everyone else. It doesn't <laughs> happen. If you're the boss, exactly. you have to pay the people. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Collie. Run down sticks, buddy, you fucking piece of shit. Also, I mean, don't you guys... think that that is like quintessential fucking Brian's own logic? That I got paid money. Like, you have a boss, right? And your boss pays one person and doesn't pay the other person. And you go to the other person and say, you owe me the money. And say nothing to the to the person well, that taken, paid out the money. You should have taken the high road. I mean... Brian has a family and kids he has to feed. You should have taken the high road and at least, you know, paid him with your money. Because you're a <laughs> yeah. gay man and you don't have anyone. He says, unironically, in all seriousness, that he had sex with a succubus. Okay. That he actually summoned a demonic it's about succubus. It's the sticks. Fucking... The sticks. Interesting, the succubus story. Now, Ashton tried to have sex with the succubus. But Surfer yeah, he took did. her instead. Surfer took the succubus instead. Protected <laughs> yeah. her. But he did try to have sex with the succubus. 
Dolphining. Fuck him. Then we've got so he has the experience Bull Black with that. disaster. Bull Black. I've never seen a Bull guy Black. Bull Black. Bull don't Blacks? Don't... You don't know anything what about Bull Blacks. You don't get fucked all about Bull Blacks. Oh, yeah, boys. Keep digging and putting your feet in other people's ponds. That's going to be a great idea. Well, they have to branch out now because they got nowhere else to go. They feel cornered. Oh, yeah, so now they're Bill, like, oh, Bill we're going to go into the commentary back. community. Literal den of fucking absolute vipers will make up anything about you that they want. Look what they did to Salvo. They don't even need to make shit up. It's all on the record. Look buddy. at what they did to Salvo. I don't know anything about him. I don't know anything about any of these commentary people. I, know, so, I mean, I what they did to Salvo I, you know, was so messed so, up. So, like, I just saw the guys taking the pink pill, I mean, buddy. Yeah. I mean, okay. So, I see, you know, I imagine the chat is going, well, fuck Salvo. Listen. Salvo's crime was fucking some whore in the backseat of somebody's car in a threesome. He didn't force her to do it. She was into it. She had been fucking them the whole weekend. I see no real Bloody. harm in it besides the degeneracy angle. It was a angle. threesome with another man. <laughs> yeah, it was That's two men and a woman. Buddy. That's degenerate. Well, she blew him. I mean, what, who cares? Salvo's into some I weird know, stuff. Buddy. Salvo's into the same know, stuff that Ashen is in, where he makes women put their heads the in the woman. toilet and flush and stuff. He's into some weird shit. <laughs> but that didn't make me, like, stop talking to Ashton when he told me that he had, like, women flushing their heads in toilets, because I don't care. It's not my business. They want to, they're grown women. If they want to put their head in a toilet and flush, I think they should. He's truning out. He's non-binary. He's claiming he has fucking BPD. Yeah. And like borderline I know somebody personality who has BPD. disorder. I know he doesn't he's know if he's a man him. or a woman. He's like begging Nicholas. No, it was to in a car. It. So here's yeah, the story. Because Salvo actually, if you listen to the interview with Salvo, he tells his story. So they fucked in Keemstar's bed. Keemstar gave them his now, and a very nice move from Q. Surprisingly, shockingly gracious move from Keemstar, probably because there were cameras in the bedroom. He allowed them <laughs> to, to, to take... He allowed them to use his bedroom. Okay, and they had a threesome with the girl in his bedroom. But then, when they were driving back, they had a threesome with her in the car. And that's where she said, oh, I wasn't uh, comfortable. I tried to tell you by lifting up my shirt and showing my underwear that I wasn't comfortable with having another threesome in the back of the car. I felt forced. It was all just kind of nonsense. They could have handled it better if they just said, you know, sweetheart, you're a nice girl. We had a good time. It's not that big a deal. But they were dumb and they called her a whore and stuff. And you know how evil women are. Is Bills? Yeah. Like, what? Go get By a job, way, buddy. Bo Black. She was like, oh, so yeah, I'm a whore. <laughs> that they brought back tips. Tell everybody you rape me in the back. No, oh, this yeah. is like the, believe all no, women. This is like the majestic Jarbo art. This is like, for Bri Bri. Bri Bri. Bri Bri, the audience are big fans. Big fans. Romancy arc or like the uh, Phil uh, arc or like shit like this where you bring them in just to dunk on a guy because they've fallen so. Brian, I just made $2 in your name. Thank you. Low that yeah. it's now like this now is like he's better. No, burning bridges not in the most self-destructive. No, he's Bo now on everyone's yeah. show. No, uh, really? Yeah, so Augie what had his show, first show in the year. Well, yes. So here's the other end of that story that Big Dad Giga Chad brings up about Salva. So it turned out that when Edwin and Salvo dropped this girl back off home after they, they banged her, I guess, for a whole week. Guess who came a call in with Brantley? Keemstar. And Keemstar had her come back out and stay with them for weeks, and they had threesomes with the Babs bitch. And while they were having threesomes with the Babs bitch, they convinced her that it was bad that she had a threesome with Edwin and Ed Salvo, and that was wrong because they used her, and Keem wasn't using her when they were having the threesome because he let her stay at his house and he treated her nice. He wasn't milking her for a story or anything. I mean, let's let's face it, that girl was not the brightest bulb. Came out of nowhere. Does this I mean, but that whole situation coverage? was 
pretty retarded from server. Yeah, it was. It was retarded. Like it getting that involved retarded. with team, like trusting team with all that <laughs> stuff. I mean, server isn't the brightest guy, too, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, there's no doubt. I don't know what Salvo was thinking, but, you know, I mean, do I think it's like a crime? No. They bring on Tipster, and then, like, oh. Tommy C had on Tipster yesterday? To hear the stories about this fat fuck, what he was up to with Surfer. <laughs> Turn the fucking hair on your fucking arms up. Oh, my God. So I that, heard Bo Blacks is saying is hot. Oh, my it God. Bowing he's to lost. Yeah, of course, Keen broke the story all. of he's abuse. Lost it all. Then, speaking of having lost it as all, as he was fucking her, he broke the story the about how first you know update. how bad Salvo is. <laughs> oh for fucking her. boy, is Beardson having a tough time? Oh. What do you want me to clarify, Orgus? I don't know. Was there anything that didn't make sense about that story, or is everybody checked out? I mean, chat. You can always call no. in and ask Percep these questions. Yes, you no, can no, call no, it. The... Uh, August, August asked before, what, wait, was that Josh's mom or was it some other set? Uh, August always just posts about Joshua Moon. He's a little obsessed with him. Oh. We don't know anything about... I don't know what Josh's mom... We know Josh's mom had a black boyfriend. And to this day, Josh resents every black man on the planet. Yes. And wished he could have burned down his house, but his house burned down anyway. So... I, I'm not, I'm still not convinced that Josh didn't burn down his own apartment. I'm well, so angry. Did. Oh, he, he, <laughs> he's just drunk out of his mind talking about how he is a pretend 19-year-old girlfriend screaming the N-word with the hard, hard R. R. 18 he gets times. Ban he gets banned from kick. He's just a fucking disaster. And he's so and drunk, he's like, I didn't say the N-word. Then top lieutenant Vincent James is broke oh. as a fucking joke. The latest update on Shocker, Vince wow. Vincent James is broke. Is pathetic. Amazing. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> he's been box. broke. In this tweet thread, guess how much he's he been made. broke for years. Shows on. Oh what else we got? We got Fuentes. Yeah, yeah. We're going to cover some Fuentes stuff. The cum stain scene around the world. I mean, this is the <laughs> Nicholas big J. Show? Fuentes took a it sounds like shit. After one month of absence, they come back with this. But how many oh, how many hours do you think wow. they're gonna spend on the twenty Ten second hours. clip of Nick Fuentes Ten having hours. some bodily Whoa, fluids you on guys, his sweatshirt? Swinton Swinton had cold cup stains on his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, Andy, you day. left fucking coke stains all over Ashton's coffee table. Yeah, I know. There's coke all over that coffee table. You know. Explain that. The cat Look at boy Andy. Full monkey on his shirt, folks. And he <laughs> forgot to change the shirt. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a really it's, obvious. I mean, is, he full play, on is he playing the stuff? Or is he, is he actually like this retarded and laughing? Then he was laughing? caught... Yes. With a trans Wait, none, woman none in of what they're saying studio. is even funny. Whoa! So you're watching the show, and this, then suddenly well, I mean, you see is, what appears to a, be a woman's uh, head peek this in is from all the corner. Basically like yeah. and you go, a little ritual a to attract children to the audience for the pedophile pay pigs to feast on, basically. Yeah, listen, tweets. You know, We're going to talk about Keemstar. We're going to talk about Keemstar, Rakata, and Sticks. I was bringing this up earlier with the boys. I. You know, if you look at their audience, I would wager that a majority of the audience is either they're under all the zoomers, age yeah. 18 and under, they're, they're either 18 and under, or they're like 40 plus. Well, they're 40 plus and they're living like they're 16, or they're actually yeah. 16. Yeah. You got like your Joey Beezers <laughs> and your fucking, uh, what's Beezered. one of that other fucking, the Philly, Philly Kavanaugh's and all these other fucking like weirdo pay pigs. Mind you, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I already know the other pay pigs. Like, because I docked them all long ago. Because I actually literally just gave me all their doctors one night. Because I asked them for them. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, I don't know. There's more coming out, boys. Just stay tuned. Well, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. See you go. 
a oh. trans woman. But Nick's defense what? was it's a journalist. Which makes you it know weirder. It's, you know it's bad, though, when you're claiming that you've allowed journalists to infiltrate your yeah, house and exactly. studio when you're the leader of a dissident organization. We need a journalist to infiltrate this house and studio, don't we? <laughs> Can we get... Do you think the Louis Thoreau would follow around Andy and Ashton? I gotta see what's going on in their real life. That's like where we're that, really I hope losing. They, I, hope I mean, Louis does because Louis can ask them about the Snickerdoodle Flastica cookies that they enjoyed on stream that one time, or the yeah. time they sent. Uh, I mean, they sent Kryler. They sent Kryler to the streets of Oklahoma or wherever the fuck. Or the time they from. sold their souls on a live stream to Moloch. Yeah, <laughs> but they were literally they were literally instructing uh, Kyler to commit hate crimes. You know, are they, are, is uh, Louis Farrell going to talk about that? Yeah. What about telling Kryler to commit a hate crime? And everybody ignoring Kryler because he looked like an AIDS patient. <laughs> that was the best part. Like, literally no one took Nobody even well, acknowledged no he existed. Kryler. It was so sad. I kind of felt bad for Kryler. But he he banned me, but so I, mean, I was... He was banned me from his chat. Isn't it funny, so. like... They, they really want to become mainstream, but at the moment that they even get any kind of following mainstream, someone's just going to come down and just completely fucking wreck them with all the shit that they've done in their past. I have to, you like, gotta you give Andy admitting, yeah. you have Andy literally admitting that he stealth raped women. You have fucking Ashton with his fucking college shit. Oh my God. Well, On Andy, of- forget about it. The history with Andy of all the fucked up things that Andy has done is so much greater than even Ralph. Like even a- Andy puts even Ralph to shame. Ralph never had, you know, he never held unarmed men at gunpoint on the street after picking a fight with them and literally ha- tasing them. You know what I mean? I mean, they literally instigated this fight, and then he screamed like a woman and said, point your gun at these guys in the middle of the street for cash. Yeah. Not even Ralph has done went, things And then as, he went and did an interview with soulless. Red Bar, where he basically was like, I did it for money. And did Red Bar was so disgusted, he threw him off the show. He couldn't even keep up with, you know how Red Bar, Red Bar loves to like string them along and keep them on? And kind of hu- have them humiliate themselves? Red Bar was so disgusted, he just threw Andy off then oh, we have Fuentes but... saying he's gonna he wants to bang Kamala alright I'm just watching can, now have they addressed they say... the fact that their audience and pay pigs are full of pedophiles or no that... not not once not once Adam. appalling not once no, they're, they're talking not about Kamala Adam. they're talking about like Kamala. everything other... I guess like, they're using that Adam. perfect defense of when he's confronted about his smoking, they just sort of like, talk where, about where, anything. Like, where's the fucking Did we not launch a live stream? stream where I admitted that I smoked, that I've been smoking, and I don't... You know, because... launched a live stream where you blamed your smoking on every character in the sex. Well, what am I supposed yeah, to do on a live everyone. stream? Obviously, it's my fault. Obviously, it's my you fault. Obviously, it's my you fault. blamed it on, on the you dead you were in the call with Brian and you wanted to start smoking again. I wanted to stop. Said it's no, I was no. I said defense. what? Co- no, I was asked what caused me to stop smoking, and it was I, honestly, it was a conversation with Brian that was so mentally ill. I like felt for a few oh, days. Oh, I I felt oh, like Brian. I was. Uh, it rocked my own sanity. It's a first degree thing. Brian looked into your eyes, said, "I am the master. You will obey me." And he told you to go. No, to the Brian. Store and buy Brian opened. <laughs> so Brian <laughs> invited me into his warped world, and I came out a little disturbed. Brian you know, it was really bad. I mean, it was Brian bad. Road. It was bad. <laughs> it was you, bad. Yes, you were chained to your computer. You couldn't leave. <laughs> Well, if you've ever been caught in the brine zone, I don't know if you've ever been, but you can't leave. <laughs> it's like I think you can. I think you can. It's like a cool. You can't yeah, leave. it's called hanging up the call, buddy. That's, yeah, that's but Brian never I mean, leaves. I have it on good authority, and it may have come from Brian's mouth himself. Yeah, Brian was actually concerned for your own safety at the end of that call, and he was wondering yeah. whether you were the crazy one. That's what that's I what heard. Brian told me. That's yeah. what Brian yeah. told me. He's just like that's probably that is true. That's probably okay? true. Yeah, that's is probably okay. 
this is crazy. I just told him I don't know what's going on and I haven't been doing anything, but I got private contacts at YouTube flagging so down his channel. And uh... I also heard that Brian has credentials to prove it. he's not crazy, to prove what he's been doing with his yeah. time. And they all stacked up to me, Percy. You yeah. Know? It totally isn't crazy at all. It was complete. It's completely normal. My person, Brian, right? Like, listen, listen to these people. Listen to these people. Your mm. friends, your internet friends. You know, they, they, you had this crazy call with Brian Dunn. You know, and uh, Brian goes behind the scenes and tells everyone, "Oh, I think uh, Percy is crazy," and you go behind the scenes and you snake each other. You know, I and always said people, Brian was crazy. You. Well, Brian, I wouldn't all have cared if Brian went behind my you. back and said I was crazy. It's not a, this care. is not about Brian. This is not about Brian. I am this a is about I am you crazy. and your internet friends. <laughs> this is about you and your internet friends. All these people stick with you. And what do you do? You go to the gas station. You buy smokes. Even though you've told everyone, oh, I've been off the smokes for two weeks. I want to quit. And you start smoking again. Oh, don't and forget! You stab all these don't people forget. in the back. All these people that no, I didn't pay Brian. I, I will continue not to pay Brian this $2. Enjoy. But thank you. I will continue not to give Brian this two dollars, but thank you very much. All funds will not go to Brian. <laughs> Just a news alert. Go ahead, Adam. What were you saying? He's already... I think he's just. I think he's disgusted by your actions, buddy. Yeah, he's taking a steaming Shannon. That you've allowed yeah. journalists to infiltrate well, your be a when nah. you're the yeah, a <laughs> Oh my person. god. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck He's you. Taking a giant curse <laughs> Fuck right you. Now. Demons. The <laughs> leader of a dissident organization. I know, I am pausing Martin Parts. Yeah, let's get saying this. He's gonna, he wants yeah. to bang Kamala? Okay, yeah, that, he's saying Kamala is sexy. Well, there. Well, and also, by the way. his store where you buy the hat is required to put your full Sticks address to bang and full name Kamala and like, Harris? all this that's, info. That's not going to go bad at all. <laughs> that's totally going to be legit. I mean, don't you yeah, have to put your full sure. name in your merch then store, we buddy? Have like, a clip what the fuck? I call Groundhog Day with Fuentes. Mm -hmm. So I just tuned oh, in to one of his recent shows. Nice. Probably oh. shows this is a show that I okay. call Groundhog and Day with McDonald's. Every other bro. show. Yeah. It's just the same. It's every day for every, him. There's literally every... half the fucking half the fucking shows about Nick. Like Nick hasn't even done anything of note in like There's weeks nobody even other watching. than having that. It's literally Other than that bots. fake woman or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Well, don't forget, it's, it's easy, cheap content. They can just pause the clips of Nick and just say, look at how gay he is gay. for 12 hours. He's gay. We're that gay. Easy content. Gay. It is easy. It's still the same script. <laughs> it's still exact same. It was script. more entertaining when they were just accusing random people of being pedophiles, you know. I they should just go that. back to doing no. that. No. But they can't, I, I guess they can't do that anymore. They can't do that now because Ashton Cox is a... <laughs> Because literally the, the only family. people on the internet who whose Ashton fan Fox has been is caught is the end of the literally, PDF fan base. <laughs> literally the okay, only yeah. niche I, internet I show. Dare, I dare anyone find me a normal looking Kino Casino fan. But guys, you do you not see how fucked this is? So look well, at the Masochist was fairly normal. Look at the scenery that they're no, clad in. Me. It's all like tailored for kids to watch, isn't it? It is look tailored for children. Look at that. Look at Ashton's look at like, much, outfit, too. Look how much effort he put into doing the decorations for Halloween. How much money yeah. do you think he spent on that? I imagine he was ordered to by the pedophiles in his audience to catch the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. He got the barking order. Yeah, put out the put out the Halloween Make decorations and lure the children in. Attractive to children. <laughs> oh my god. We need all of your children. Maybe uh, maybe they do address it. We'll have to go through the comments. They're not gonna fuck it. They're not gonna address it. it. They're not gonna do shit. And I'm not gonna um, watch their fucking bullshit. Because it's just no. gonna be Well, I am. it's just it's gonna be that for well, us. Cause I'm hours. gonna have to watch it because you know they're gonna cover that whole stream. No, Ralph. they're not. They're yeah, not they are. Raw first DSP. That's the only content they have. Gonna... I think they will. 
Tim is the same. AC Tim in the chat's right, by the sick way. He is. He's tired. He the chat is right, Deep Throat, about what? AC, AC uh, is saying that their audience are Medicare fans, and that's true. Though, like, as yeah. long as Jim gives them the endorsement, they will never go away. Well, that's yeah, true. that's true, too. They're fucked when Jim well, dies. Well, Jim is going to die any second be... now. Yeah, when, when Jim dies, they have nothing. Because Jim yeah, won't be there to save game. Andy from his 100th defeat like he has in the past. Yes. Every time Andy's wild, on right? his knees, Jim comes in and saves him. Yes. What is it? What do you think Jim likes so much about Andy that he saves him every single time? It's very simple because, like, <laughs> he does what he wants him to. Because he has it. the innocence of a child, buddy. So it. <laughs> it, it it turns ah, it gets Jim's jollies off. Yeah, yeah, it's the only thing that can still get Jim off. The innocence of a child. He sees Andy I mean, first of, a man. First of, uh, you're asking why does PP, uh, why does uh, Medica defend uh, P uh, Andy Worski? I mean, how do you think Medica ended up on Local Life? How do you think he got in contact with Keemstar and got his monetization back? Who gave him that contact? Yeah, this is true. Yeah, they're all dancing true. around Moloch's Maypole in this satanic yeah. witch coven that they're all part of. <laughs> yeah, drinking <laughs> children's blood. People forget that Worski was a semi. I'm saying that as a joke, but uh, magically, uh, Metoka gets his uh, monetization back. The one time he goes on Keemstar's stream. It is true. Yeah, I that yeah. was definitely cool. a deal, totally though. Fun. It was definitely well. That was definitely quid pro quo, like hundred yeah. percent. You come on my stream and you promote this stupid bullshit, and I will get your YouTube channel remonetized. We've no, seen, we've that. seen no, Keem's DMs. So maybe, we've seen oh, Keem's DMs. There was child sacrifice involved, boys. Because Keem store, offers though, either to flag down people's channel for favors, or he'll monetize your channel for favors, or get you unbanned for favors. But does yeah. Jimmy even need that, though? Because he had a merch store and a Patreon and all these other ways to give him money. I mean... He doesn't. He needs to make more money. Don't yeah, he understand? needs all of your money, buddy. He, he needs all, need to... all your money. All you of your take money. Your so he's losing more by getting bigger. Yeah, but, but YouTube Super Chats are pretty lucrative. I think he makes way more money from the Super Berries they than he ever They take a big cut. Bad. They, they take, take a, a big cup, but he gets they take a big center cup, volume. I don't think they take thirty percent, right? Yeah, yeah but yeah. it's actually more. Well, for our streams, it's more. For whatever reason. Well, this is why Ashton and Worski don't even use super chats or anything like that. They just have their own payment platform. Well, they have they? their own powered... scam yeah. payment platform. Yeah. Oh no! Don't know alert. Whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Don't know no chat. Don't know chat. Which is and that's literally, literally the only one, one that was made run, for by them. By the way, run by Andrew Wilson, who was run the big by Andrew yeah. Wilson. Yeah, it was literally who, made for them by that guy. The irony is that Dono Chat is made by Andrew Wilson. That was stolen from the code for it was stolen from Nick Fuentes. It's all fed. From Nick Fuentes. It, it's just all. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, a it's all fed, fed shit, fed. and they're all connected through the money. Just be bro. sure that uh, if you've given them any money through Dono Chat, uh, your name is on a list somewhere. You need to just yeah. yeah. Andrew Wilson. That guy. Just like horrible. He's like an idiot, and like every. Well, do you see how big he's become on like TikTok and shit like this? Well, he's a big plant. Yeah. That's like plan. millions of views on TikTok. Like, plant. what is that? Plan. Yeah, well, you're yeah, actually yeah. yeah. really glows in the dark, person. Yeah. Oh yeah. I always, always thought you knew the first time we came across. Uh, what did what did he go by? Big Papa Fascist. Big Papa I said fascist. this guy is a Fed. Fed alert! Well, hundred percent, he's a fed. Where did he? Do where is he getting the money? For, where is he getting the money to be doing what he's doing? Where did he get all these contacts from? Well, fed alert! Money to create uh, his own bank to fund yeah. this fucking. It's creating his chat. own bank. Where did he get he the money to own, do that? He had his own. Let me just wait for the Chinese triad. <laughs> yeah, know. the Chinese yeah, triad. Best dim sum. Yeah, the triad bank. <laughs> the best dim but, uh, sum and. In San Diego. Do you know what Andrew Wilson's bit is though? Like what he like his is like you know his um grift or whatever. What is his I isn't his grift like getting a, those whores the the cam whores to come on? They all sit in a round table and talk about how they've cheated men out of money and stuff. Yeah, this whatever yeah. podcast gets massive views, boys. Yeah, he's massive, like massive. guy, but he's like also a stepfather, by the way. Like yes. literally. Well, yeah, because his Large, wife had a bunch of kids right before they were married. I yeah. think more than 
more does he even have a kid with her i don't know if they i know that she had a bunch of kids before i know that he has a daughter that hates him i remember that bit of law but he's a really big tough guy he's like the sort of tadian uh sort of the white tate or something yeah, well, he wants to be Andrew Tate, yeah. He wants to be the father version of uh, Andrew Tate. The stepfather version. The stepfather, yeah. <laughs> the stepfather. The literal stepfather. The literal stepfather. That was originally Sargon's grip, but Big Papa Fascist d- went right in. He dropped the name, and he now he just goes by Andrew Wilson. Well, Sargon well, has biological kids now, doesn't he? Well, the thing is, the U.S. government pays more than the British government was paying Sargon, so... <laughs> Let's see, Andrew Wilson. You got a dip on this amazing promo for this pedo casino, bro. Wait, no, I just no, want to show you, already. like, this is what. So this is what he does. He has all of these literal OnlyFans horrors and e horrors, and he puts them all in a circle, and then he lectures them about how they're horrors, and then they tell you stories about how they've ripped men off for money or done stuff for money. Yes. And this breaks and in millions show. of views. Millions. Look at this. Well, this only has 5,000 views, but... But this was only this three is... hours ago, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's only five hours. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what kind of views he's pulling on this. Yeah, oh, like God. 50... This, is such... this looks like such normie trash. Like, anytime Go to his someone popular. Says... Go to his popular, because some of these have gone really viral. Is yeah, this really, is 209,000. Is this channel really called Bloodsport? What the fuck? And these are just like mirrors think, of the actual the, streams, too. I think that's a, just a clip channel, yeah. Yeah, this is just a clip channel. What the about fuck? such a... Um, I absolute such fed. a fed, you guys. Uh, absolute fed. These women are whores. Fucking blowy uh, like I've never seen in my life. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have a Christian nation. That's I why I'm getting that... all these only ha- only fan whores and browbeating them. Like this is the main channel. This whatever with four point four three million. He's better than them, though. By the way, he's better than them, even as though he's promoting them. Yeah, this That's is something. the main channel. Look, Andrew yeah. Wilson versus Pixie feminist. Uh, I'm an only fan whore, and I've ripped men out of their money, and he'll just be like, "Yes, you're a whore." And that's the whole thing the for hours, for five hours. What is this shit? Do you remember the opium houses they had in London, like in the Victorian era? Yes. Yes. Andrew Wilson would be like a guy back then filming them saying, look how bad these are. And spending all day in there and like telling the opium addiction, addicted to opium. They're like, yes. And he's like, guys, give me money, by the way. And don't come to this opium house located at like this address. Don't yes. do that. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, yeah, don't ever go to these hot bitches streams and give them money as they shake their tits in front of the camera for five hours don't ever do that don't be interested in yeah, any don't of these do horses. that chat. it really is a, a, it is a, a grift idea that is kind of genius isn't it all right let's go back to this yeah it's it's hey. rage bait it has existed forever yeah well it's rage bait and it's coomer bait at the same time it's raging coomer bait I think so, he crafted then, this watching, like, I literally think Andrew Wilson, he crafted this. He was watching, like, the Groiper stuff, all these incels, and he's like, I know how to do this. You have all of these whores line up, and they think they're empowering themselves, and then you tell you tell them they're really just dumb whores, and then the men get to rage on them, and then they give them money when they masturbate to them on their OnlyFans. So it's like a double cool. whammy as far as grifting goes. So everybody's cool it's a great with business. This. Yeah. What a business yeah. plan. What Everyone a business gets a kickback. Plan. It's genius. Uh, give him that. It's fucking genius. I wish so I would have thought of it. This, so ask yourself this, chat. What is the appeal to what we're seeing on the screen right now? Halloween decorations. Where is the fucking... Where is the appeal? Like, what are you, what are you getting when you watch Andy Worski moan like a fucking retard for well, uh, eight hours? If you pay him a hundred dollars, he's gonna scream your name really loud and uh, do some retarded clipping. Well, Ashton's like, got some candy. You just gotta come into the studio, bro. Like, I can get understand with Andrew come Wilson's grip. Uh, yeah, okay, there's whores on the screen. I can understand why people throw money at it. 
But why are people throwing money at a 800 pound man and a stuttering Well, the thing is, we head? know the people that are throwing that money. We saw them in the hotel car parking lot trying to meet a 12 year old, not but last week. <laughs> that's that's true. the sort of people that are being defrauded <laughs> from this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joey Beezer! Oh my god, you guys! His last name is Beezer! I know, isn't that Whoa, ironic? Their top pay pick buddy. is named Beezer? Beezer! Beezer! So I guess, okay, so here's the thing. So you're paying money, basically, to get the privilege of joining a private Discord with Andy Worski, where you pay him to watch uh, 30 Day Fiance get drunk and play video games. Yeah. Like, what's the appeal to that? Like, what, like, chat, would you spend however, how, how much do you think it costs to get into the PayPig Discord? Be part of this high rollers club? Yeah. What do you think is the minimum? A hundred per? Maybe fifty a month? More. More. Well, oh, way more. It's gotta be more way than that. More. Way that more. That fucking Joey Beezer guy is giving Andy Ward one like on one? Tens of thousands I mean, of dollars. Thousands, it's gotta be right. Thousands. thousands. Let's put ten grand? Ten grand a month? I reckon I reckon about two hundred gets you access to fat so you can watch him eat. But to get access well, to he Warsky, thinks he's actually like, oh, remember he Ashen used he used to be like I'm so much better than this I don't even go in there and talk to them Andy just sits in there all day and I ignore them and I won't even talk yeah. to them because they're below me. I don't know I don't think he does that anymore I think Andy you think he's into it? I think he's ushering them in he's like the Walmart greeter that's what I think yeah he's like the Walmart greeter now I think, <laughs> I think at some point point Andy realized that he's pulling in way more money than PPP does. I think well, we he does. These, uh... he well, does, yeah, that's why Andy. Uh, that's yeah. why he yeah. won't leave. Well, 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 Andy... things you've got to realize are loyal to Andy first and foremost, because he's had them for yeah. years and years and years. They they could give two yeah. shits about Fatso. And Jim is the one who's loyal to Andy too. He's not loyal to PPP. Just no. Yeah. Him. He would back. That's he true. would stab Ash in the back in two seconds. Yes. Yeah. Jim's not let go all of the shit that. PPP was doing That's back in the, the day. That's part of the reason you know? why he refused to uh, ally himself with us, because he was afraid of Daddy Jim. Yes. yes. He's afraid of the backlash. Because Andy basically I, played I mean, the Jim PPP card is going to get his comeuppance one day. When was the last time Jim went on a stream with somebody who was, like, adversarial to him? Never. That wasn't Ethan uh, Ralph. Fuentes. Fuentes, that was, yeah. That, that was hardly anything. I don't know, I, I kind of could... felt Fuentes won out on that one, to be honest. You think so? I, think... I did, actually. I it, think so. it, was a, it was a poor performance on Jim's part. I thought it was just a poor performance all the way around. Well, I mean, I, yeah, I think, honestly, honest... Fuentes didn't really know much about Jim, so he was kind exactly. of like, I, I don't know what the fuck to say to this guy. <laughs> you know, kind of just... But Jim had literally all the cards laid out in front of him and didn't fucking do anything with any of them. No, he was winded in about 30 seconds. Jim's yeah. whole thing was like internet friends are gay. That's what he was saying to Fuentes. His wife was his internet friend. That is like That's the context. True. That's true. AC has a point. Andy preys on low self-esteem mentally ill men. I have no life. So Andy's like a like an e-thought, basically. He is. <laughs> He is. He, but instead of Kumas, he goes for retards. You know how he always sits there. You know he does the over-the-top laugh. He always claps into the camera like a retard. Like who likes that shit? Little, literally, it's, it's retarded very, people watch this. It's very similar to how Phil does it, because Phil does something similar. Except with, in Phil's case, it's more of like uh, he just does the retarded boomer shtick, or he's the retarded yeah. boomer that does that says silly shit. Well, Phil will be like, uh, just, Derek, do you know to, what the uh, color the blue is, people. Derek? Have you ever seen this color blue, Derek? You know, he treat you know, it's a complete retardation. <laughs> yeah, he kind of like talks to the chat like they're like literally retarded. Yeah. Like it's and it works. the explorer. It works. And, people, yeah. and people always say, you know, DSP, he's always moving around on the X and Y axis. I think that's on purpose. I think he's trying to overstimulate, you know, the retarded people watching his stream. Oh yeah, you know, I mean he's committed. Moving, always do the retarded clapping and shit. I don't think DSP is nearly as stupid as people make him out to be. No, no he's not stupid at all. He's a he's a genius. I'm always uh, in awe of Phil's 
um, ability to graft, his genius. Worse, he was like a YouTuber back in 2015, and he was like, what, fairly mainstream with like yes. hundreds of thousands of subscribers, so he knows what he's doing, like he's done it before. Oh, who, Andy? Like, I think Andy yeah. is completely retarded. Maybe he didn't start out completely smart. retarded, but the cult has he's done smart. its work. I'm just saying he knows how, I'm saying he knows to do the grift. Yeah. Because he had a much bigger grift, like, in 2015 and 2018 than that. Like, he had, the, like, the biggest stream on YouTube in, like, 2018 with Worski Live. And he had, like, a fairly big YouTube channel in 2015 and 2016. Yeah, well, he, that's when he was making his independent films. And no, he, he was, was a stand-up an comedian. He was anti-SJW. Was that like was before. No, he started out making independent. That was later when he teamed up with JF and stuff. First, Andy was he made he was a stand-up comedian who made independent films. That's how Andy started. Yeah, that's, but that's where like you get Dark Fist and all that crap. Yeah, and I'm talking about like on his YouTube career, like the main stuff, which is like is that uh, what the Asian guy what was his name Chris Worski? Chris Worski, yeah, yeah, Chris Worski. That was after though. That Andy had yeah, already no, had an established, an already established YouTuber before Chris Worski. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, yeah, Andy, Andy always it. does the kitchen sink approach, where he just keeps throwing shit at the wall yeah. until like, like he'll get in it. He used to get in diapers and stuff. He, like all those videos, yeah. all those crazy pictures of Andy like are from that era when he was like an artist. Yeah, he was. It's all art, you guys. Him it's wearing art. diapers. It's art. When Andy had like the nose, the nose and eyebrow piercings, and was like, "Well, you know what? Why don't we list all of Andy Worski's like uh, grips? Because he's done like a like, countless. He had the travel blog grift. He had uh, the fucking stand-up comedian grift, anti-SJW grift, whatever the fuck you call this now. Uh, it's a purple he had to do Uber Eats purple. for a while." Yeah, he did Uber Eats. He did OnlyFans reviews. He, pro- he, he had did, the video uh, game streaming. Uber Eats delivery yeah, well he was too. a speedrunner for a little while. Oh, yeah, speed speedrunner. Speedrunner. The yeah, whatever the Twisted devil, Mind uh, was, I guess was the They did the iceberg videos. Yeah, the iceberg videos. Like, how many? Like, oh, fuck, anything, anything to chase the trends. So, anything that yeah. was popular and Andy has done. Or Bibble was working with them. Why don't they the just... I don't understand. Why don't they just steal Andrew? Like, if I was them... So, let's say I had creative control now. I would just put Andy and PPP in a room with a bunch of these e-thoughts and have them berate them. And just do exactly what Andrew Wilson did. It'd be far more effective with that fucking 600-pound lesbian yeah, and Andy Worski. That, that, doesn't, that, that doesn't work with these two. Yeah, oh, it like, would Andrew work. Wilson can you smart. imagine... Can, the conversation. can you imagine like, Ashton berating women? Confrontation. <laughs> that they're whores. All right, chat. I, yeah, I, I'm getting, I'm getting out the fucking... They would say, oh, I'm not a whore. You know, I'm getting the no out. We're writing, down, we're writing down We're writing down all of Worski's grips. Give me a second. Okay. Bro, give me a minute. So we have. The problem is they're like Metacurian fan base. They have to please them too. So uh, they're, they, uh, they're trapped. They can't stray too far. Did anyone ever make? Did anyone ever make backups of all the all the iceberg videos he used to make, Worski? Because I can't find those for the life of me. I think no. No, those all are gone. I think they're gone. He blamed Bibble for that. Even though it was, it was literally he told Kryler to just break into the account. Well, you remember when he was a black cat and Bibble was a white cat, and they were talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, what was that? Well, no, that, that was the podcast. Iceberg. That was something else. What was? Yeah, that, that was something else. Weren't they doing like uh, D&D? I was gonna do V two. Doing... Well, it was V tubing. It was the V tubing. Yeah, but they so were doing it actually. like it with like D and D, right? They were doing yeah, D&D but they had like streams. animated avatars, though, like VTubers. Yes. Okay, so uh, social media. Oh, I'm just, just going to put social media. Like, remember fitness, he was going to be a travel blogger. Thing. I remember that. All right, yeah. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fitness uh, influencer, boxer. Okay, so I have boxer. travel blogger, the iceberg, grip. stand up comic, stand up comic, comic, yeah, independent filmmaker. I Indie guess film. the Worski live stuff with JF was kind of like politics-y, wasn't it? It's a political... political Tim Pool, you might as well put. 
Pimple, pimple. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my god. This early Andy Worski. <laughs> what do we call man. this? Oh, like, well, he was 15 like. 15 years actor. ago. This is Andy 15 years ago. I told you, he's been around forever. Forever. He's the ultimate cockroach. I'm gonna put actor slash MTV. They're gonna they're gonna bag on Rich for being like Get an internet Rich. cockroach that has followed every trend. Look at Andy Worski 15 years ago. Oh, anti SJW. Yes. Uh, skeptic. Oh, you got skeptic runner. on the list. Anti SJW. Yeah, yeah, skeptic. Yeah, that'll be skeptic. You got video game live streamer, video game reviewer. Speedrunner. I'm going to consider video gamer, video game stream, and speedrunner separate because they technically are. Yeah. You're going to have reviewer there as well. Uh, don't forget IRL live streamer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. IP2. Yeah, IRL IP2. IP2, yeah. Travel blogger. IP2. I got travel blogger already. Whatever the fuck um, Twisted Mind was. Drama. Alcoholism. I guess that was it's commentary. Like, Twisted Mind was like commentary community stuff. It was kind of, yeah, commentary streamer. Um, IBS and the Kumite. Yeah, IBS there was Kumite. One, there was one arc, it was fairly short-lived. You know when he was doing the SPCC grift, where he was like doing the fake calls? Yes, he was a horror YouTuber, that is true. Oh yeah, horror YouTuber. Horror YouTuber. Where he'd read Frank like Holler, spooky Frank pastas. Frank YouTuber. Cokehead. <laughs> That's not really a grift, though, buddy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'll never it. forget that tweet that he made where he said his dream was to be on Joe Rogan. <laughs> In five years, I'm going to be on Joe Rogan. I'm going to be on Joe Rogan. Next, next, uh, next year, I'm going to be on Joe Rogan. I'm going to be the biggest okay. guy. Oh yeah, what would you, what would you say the the relate when he was uh, aligned with uh, uh, what's his face Chungus? Hmm. Ian e e Miles Chong. What was that technically? That was like skeptics. Wasn't that was it? skeptic stuff. Yeah. That was uh, the remnants like of just skeptic stuff. More anti SJW shit. What was he when he was Ralph with Ralph? That was just drama. That was shock, like IBS shock, shock drama. radio jocks. Shock yeah. radio jocks. Oh, the oh red bar, red bar, red bar. Red bar well, yeah, red bar impersonator. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is what I have so far, and then add on to it if if need be. Okay, I'll be right back. I have travel blogger, iceberg drift, VTuber, fitness influencer, boxer, stand up comic. Indie filmmaker, Tim Pool wannabe, actor slash MTV star, anti SJW skeptic, speedrunner, video game streamer, video game reviewer, IP2, commentary streamer, IBS streamer, horror YouTuber, prank YouTuber, Red Bar impersonator, and then OnlyFans reviewer. You forgot Ghost Hunter. That was a good Oh, addition. yeah, Ghost Hunter. Yeah, Ghost Hunter. <laughs> Killstream co-host, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, technically, yeah, Killstream co-host. Killstream co-host. Killstream co-host. What's up? How many yet so far? How many? Let's see. Give me a second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty-two. I got twenty-two. And you're not done yet, Squire. It's I'm not the kid killer. Yeah. So he was a he was a pothead streamer. He was an Instagram thought. Remember when he used to take out workout photos and photos oh, of his yeah, food? Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Instagram he did, he did dip into the, you know the Adam Worski stuff where he was a white nationalist going on the the Daily Show. Oh, yeah, white nationalist, yeah, white, yeah, white, white nationalist. nationalist. Andy Race Worski. Delish. That's White really a reference right there. That's Did right. You, he was literally taking like the 1488 super chats and Did shit. Did you put like, Instagram thought people. in there? Yeah, I got that. At one point, I don't know if this was just uh, existed purely on tweets, but do you remember when he was going to buy property in Portugal and like yes. develop it and shit? 
So property oh, yeah, developer. The developer gift. Developer gift. I think that was more part of the travel blogging stuff, but yeah, sure. Oh, remember the radio? She had the radio show too. Remember that Volution Radio? Yeah, Violation yeah. Radio or whatever. Volition Radio Show. Volition Radio. Yeah, I was with Shock Jock. Abortionist. Abortionist. That was with uh, Geek Thulu, right? Oh yeah, remember the was time he scammed that Geek money Geek to do the SPLC? <laughs> yeah, the SPLC. Remember the cult of Worski? Oh, Remember leader, when he yeah. wanted to start the cult? I mean, he is After a cult Miami. leader now, technically. Yeah. I would say cult well, leader. He had like a super... He also oh, had yeah, he did... Uh, what is that called? Which, like, well, I already have Ghost Hunter on there. Oh. Uh, what do you... Oh, wait, no... He wanted, yeah, didn't he want to do, like, uh, coast-to-coast radio type well, shit? Well, he wanted to do a oh, journal. Oh, yeah, Pedo Hunter. Pedo yeah, Hunter. Pedo Hunter. Oh, yeah, Pedo Hunter. And he also so, wanted to be coast. an investigative journalist. Remember, he wanted to go to, like, events and interview people? Like, remember, he had planned to go to the Oh, MTV. He went to, like, the MTV thing, didn't yeah, he? Or he went to YouTube thing? Yes. You know that YouTube convention? He was, like, interviewing people? Yeah, the one where he's got the picture with him and Sargon and all those guys. Oh, yeah. just a journalist. Journalists. There's so many. From Israel. Each and every one of them have failed. Uh, oh yeah, the what is, what is, what is now? Like, what is this current era of Wolski? What is this? Is this just the terminal end? Remember when Because at least all of the others had just, in common just, some sort uh, of lofty ambition, some money. sort of profession to tie it to, but not, this doesn't. Remember Andy wanted to be like a pickup artist yeah, guy, teach men how to get works. women? It's, it's, oh yeah, pickup oh, yeah, artist. Pick artist. Yeah. Holy shit, boys. I, 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 you don't even realize how many of these fucking little scam grifts he had. So many. I guess what is this te what what is he now technically? What is this this grift? What is he now? Because all of the others had some sort of vocation or profession to tie it to. Seal? Like, is that what he is now? Seal? Clapping seal? Um. Oh, OBS monkey. He's an OBS he monkey. Is an, uh, he's an adult baby daycare. That is what he is. Just like the adult, Yeah, he is an adult daycare. It's something man. that, you know... If you want to find old stuff, uh, you, you can know, it's, uh, something boomer parents can put on when their 30-year-old sons are at home, you know? They put on the Kino Casino. They can sit there, have 40 odd, 30 odd sons in front of the TV, and then just hope that they don't touch any children. You can add a minus purse pick on the years you don't want to search. If you do minus 2024, minus 2019 in the search bar. Oh, Squire, you want to add his, um, you know, his sober advocacy? Ad advocacy? Oh, yeah, sobriety advocate. Yes. Like, after comedian, do minus 2024, and then do that for, and then for a few other years that are recent. And I'll give it a result from this year. And so if you keep adding years, you'll get the old stuff. Oh my god. I can't believe this list is as long as it is. Jesus Christ. This is a pretty quick... video. Andy Watsky posts his surprise cow PPP. What? What did he say? Uh, we got a few donos here. Um, the power within right. for five. Thank you so much. Saying, wow, bloat Alaska is sure down the drain felted. Oh, and Andy asked PPP to say, power hour over Newgrounds podcast. Move for day! And power, move big move big for day! Big move for day! Hollywood style, baby. Hey, guys, I'll... All right, I'm going to... Here, give me a second. Uh, he's my homie, so just do this for him. I think he wants right. it for his intro. There you go. Move for me! Let's see if I can find the ear juice do you have a question for Adam, though? Uh, it's a very obscure question. But you know the, the, the phrase you used, Kino Dogma, in 2007? In Kino Dogma. I saw um, an old video of yours where you called it the Kino Dogma in 2006. Yeah, it, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think it originally was the 2006, but I just slipped up and said 2007 and it's stuck ever since. <laughs> 
Well, 2007, it, nothing was this. It was like a literal, you know, like. Well, no, the AVGM was around in 2006. Doug Walker. All the greats were there. Oh my, 2007 oh my God. is kind of where it all went wrong. Is the Kino Casino really on IMDb? That's insane. Well, you know Andy puts, yeah, the, Andy Andy puts himself in the credits. I'm going to add that to the list, producer. Yeah. What well, the stream was, too. Oh. That's true, it was. Although, I'm pretty sure someone fucking with Ralph put that up there. I'm pretty sure Andy put himself up there. This was six years ago, by the way. Isn't it wild? Alright, I posted ago. the list oh, in the chat. I feel old. You always want to look at it. I feel really old. Can you believe this you was sure? six years ago? You feel old. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot musician. He tried to be a musician. Musician, yeah. oh shit, yeah. And, oh, and he yeah, did you that forgot fucking, all about that one. And musician. he did jet, the jackass shit too, remember? Yeah, but that kind of goes with the IP too. I mean... Yeah, okay, you can put jackass. That was jackass. Ashton's first thing too. Was Isn't it kind doing... of sad how the, um, the sector shot the just... same two people for six years? Well, Ralph is the sector, bro. I mean, Ralph and PvP. Yeah. And worse oh. game. Well, DSP is the sector now, boys. What, well, Godwinson? How disrespectful. I'm not the sector. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, this sector is just, uh... I mean, it's smaller than it's ever been because, yes. I mean, it revolves around Ralph. Sort of, yeah. Ralph's the lifeblood. I mean... If anyone is the sector, Brian Dunn is the sector. You know, uh, Brian, most Brian of the events Bizarre. in the sector Brian would never have happened without like, Brian. Brian is part of about 10 different sectors. You know, if we were yeah. to list where Brian's been over the years, it would be double Worski's list, really. Well, Brian, what Brian does is he Brian's incorporates in, like, everything into the sector. Brian incorporates everything into the sector, like Brian, the discords, he just calls them wherever he goes, he just calls them like, they become part of the yeah. sector. Oh, but don't forget that Moses. Australian sector that he's a part of, you know, that yeah. League of Legends thing, whatever it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Brian simultaneously in about four or five sectors all at once. Well, What's he's in Girl time? World, I know Brian, like, he dips into like the Girl World, the Chantel people. He's all he's all over that hatry hatry stuff as well. Isn't yeah, he? oh yeah, he's all into the Keemstar stuff. He's Brian's everywhere. as big a character in the other sectors as he is here. You know, he's a legend in the DSP I sector. Doubt that. I doubt the DSP stuff is like known for, but that daddy's like big in those other sectors. What was the last time I knew? So far, brought to this sector. I mean, without. Without Brian, you know, Jim would never have met his wife. <laughs> That's and true. without uh, Jade's help, Jim would probably not be alive today. I don't know. Uh, it's all very curious with Jim, isn't it? Everything with him is like a walking contradiction. I don't know what to say about that guy. I guess I mean, Jim I guess is the other dying, and but yeah, right. yeah, but it's it's like, dying is the fact that he's so mentally ill he's posting it all on Twitter. Yeah. Well, now, I mean, he that's broke. evidence of that. He couldn't hold it back anymore. Like he wanted to share everything for years, and he he had to delete everything. Like he'd share everything, and then he'd delete everything. Because if you go back, even when he was Jim eighty one Jim, like his full do he posted his own full docs and everything. Like he full, wanted like, everybody to know all his name, personal birthday, business even back then. City. Pretty much everything except the, like the last day. Well, uh, this guy in chat, Timewalk, said, Brian cursed Jade. And that is that is a very <laughs> correct statement. Like, that poor woman, what Brian did to her by introducing her to Jim, I don't think that can ever be forgiven. I introduced Jim to his wife, I was there. We've heard a lot of con conflicting reports. I mean, about people that. forget, but he actually did. He actually did. We've like, heard a lot of Brian conflicting Jade reports way about that. Than Jim knew Jade. <laughs> I don't know. I've Stop heard that. Lies about me. I've heard that Brian didn't actually do that, but that's Brian. That'll always be Brian's claim to fame. I introduced you to your. I've heard that Brian was very, like, very. Uh, 
incidental character in this fabled Skype where they all met, right? I don't think he was incidental. I, I we basically know he wasn't incidental. <laughs> now we do. <laughs> he wasn't incidental. And the uh, all those streams archived. I'm pretty sure you could uh, you could go back and watch those streams. What no, streams? there was a they, uh, there was a the Skype that they all used to talk on. Yeah. Um, outside yeah, of the streams, there was way the more going on off the streams no, than on the they streams. They always they always streamed fashion. from that Skype. They always yeah, from but that there was there was I, stuff. I, I think I distinctly from. remember. No, I distinctly remember because uh, he asked him on stream one time. He, he told Jim this, and uh, he said, uh, the only question Jade had about you was if you are fat. And uh, then they all laughed. I remember something like that. I think that, uh, but it's, that's all so long ago. Who I really don't, knows? I've heard different, I've heard different accounts of that story. <laughs> They all contradict Bri Bri, but all right, are we going to go back to this? We got two I minutes mean, left. But I would believe it. I mean, Brian knows so many people, and uh, who the fuck does Jim know? Jim never leaves his house. Brian knows everybody. And he's never talked to a girl, as we know. Brian knows if there is a freak out there, Brian knows them and has had personal conversations with them. Every single time I come across, like every single time we've come across a person who is like mentally disturbed. And like we're fascinated by it, Brian's like, oh yeah, I know that guy. I talked to him about Discord. He's a piece of shit. I want to fucking kill him. He docked my house. He tried to kill me. You know, it's like the same bullshit every single time. It's like, Brian, how do you know this person? That was like with Dark. Remember with like Dark Ninja? Dark Ninja appears. Brian's known him. <laughs> Brian's like, oh yeah, He's the UPS driver. It's women. The super chatters piss him off. I so miss real, real, I'm, I'm pumped. real, I'm pumped. real bread and butter Fuentes content there. Then I have some bread and butter Fuentes. Farms, bread and butter. Amazing. Where Nick is talking and about potatoes, his ideal utopian city. Mm. That if he was in charge of a city state, how it would be. Just men and, he and says cops. That he would, he says that he would have legal prostitution. Did he say that or did you say that? Which Cat is like. Boys? What is the difference between this then what? and modernity, buddy? <laughs> like, is this? He, he hold says, on, hold on. I'm confused. State how it would be. Just men and, he and says cops. That he, would, he says that he would have legal prostitution. Whoa. Which Cat is like, boys? what is the difference between this then and modernity, uh, buddy? <laughs> like, is this? He says that we're going to be Catholic, but not too Catholic, so none of us are going to pray. Remember when Andy Warsky wanted to make his religion. own ethno state of nothing but trannies? Yeah, I remember that. The Trapno state. Yeah. Trapno state. Hmm. But we're just going to pretend that we're Catholic for the aesthetics and vibes. We're it's a real mask like off we're normal, you guys. He's talking about injuries, how he's afraid to go to the doctor with some Fuentes. Doing like that then we're going to talk about react Ralph Ralph Oh, what? Ralph versus who? He just about to say Ralph versus someone. Afraid to go to the doctor with some Fuentes. Then we're going to talk about Ralph versus Dark Side Phil. It's amazing. So Ralph oh, was supposed happened. to do the yeah, nothing DSP really happened. festival. It was supposed tweet. to be the ultimate destruction of Phil. They're going mm -hmm. was... to make a whole show about it. Out of the five clips and and some DSP commentary. They're going to make a whole show out of it. Ten hours. Ralph was too pilled out and drunk to do it. <laughs> he's blaming us for not being able to do it. Yeah. He's saying he's scared. He doesn't want to be puppeteered. Fuck, I, I think forgot what about happened the is Ralph yeah, saw furry grift. the promo Phil cut on him <laughs> and he was shook. It's so good. He was shaking it's in funny. his shoes. He was scared. It's the funny, king it's there, Dark Side Phil, took Ralph to task. Bent him <laughs> Have over the detractors seen this ass. yet? I can't. Are and they Ralph's losing their minds? Scared. Ralph's I don't running. Know. He's afraid. And then we're going to probably finish it off tonight with some <laughs> ghost that's doctor. That's for tomorrow. Uh, I miss, and that'll I be, just, I just that'll that'll be day show. one. And then tomorrow... Uh, we're gonna do the president, the vice presidential debate. Yes. Uh, so that'll be at <laughs> nine tomorrow. They're gonna uh, do the vice happen. presidential debate. 
Whoa, wait what? a minute. Wait, what? Did, did, did he tell you that, like, no, we're not covering politics anymore? Politics is boring. I don't want to, yeah, he didn't want to do politics. It was too controversial. That's okay. weird. I'll pay for my hands tomorrow. They've never done a presidential debate. Why would they do a vice presidential debate now? Yeah, it makes no sense. What the fuck? Okay, I don't Things know. That, the well is really it's dry continue. over in Kino Casino Land. Tomorrow, yeah, this. I mean, I thought you know they've been gone long. I thought they'd come back with something better than this. What top? It's what good. are you going to do with Andy Worski commentating over a vice presidential debate? He just said a word that doesn't I mean, what is he going to do? He's going to make noises. If their well is dry, your well is drier, because your well is uh, from like from their well. I create the well, bro. I dug the well. September <laughs> update, review tech update, and uh, Laura Loomer as well. We have a special flashback Laura Loomer? of Laura Loomer. Whoa, flashback of Laura Loomer. Laura Loomer. Whoa, oh, we're is really it desperate. The, fucking, the bread stream that fucking's been covered a million times by everyone. Holy shit. We're really Holy digging. Fuck. We're really Oh We're picking through we're picking branch, through the this thrown is why out. They're scraps. Trying to branch out. Yeah. This is why they're trying to branch. Oh, that's, that's we're sad. picking through the scraps now, boys. Laura yeah. Loomer. Well, you know what? I mean it sucks because they probably don't have anyone to look up any clips for them anymore because Kyler got fucking turbo doxxed by the detractors. Yeah. Fucking Billy Kavanaugh stuff. got fucking turbo docs. The other fucking you know guy in their little uh, writers' room. The clip channel's still up. Yeah, well, he's not going anywhere. Well, he's not going to go anywhere, but he's definitely not going to help as much now that they, Andy got him doxed. So. I don't think that guy even cares, to be honest, because that guy has been doxed like eight times. I think the other ones are more shook than he is. I mean, he's been doxxed over and over and over again. I don't know, should I just start reading out some of the names in my fucking... Uh... Oh my god, Squire. Calm down. Should I start, content. Should I start not reading content. out the names, we'll buddy? Days, but we're <laughs> we'll, planning on we'll going. going. We'll we're going to keep going. Yeah. And of we're course, keep as going. new stories happen, we'll be reporting on them Cover as all well. This amazing uh, content. So check in 8.30 p.m. Eastern on Kick tonight. Ooh. We're going to be in costume. We're kicking off 8.30? Are they, are they live? I guess. Well, I mean, it's going to be like an hour-long intro. So. In four minutes. Uh, but are you... Yeah, it's going to be five FISA songs. I, wanna, what, I are... wanted to wrap this at two and a half. So we got about 20 minutes. Let's see. Just wanted to point out, now you're saying they're, they're the whole thing's dead, but I'm just looking at that video they posted, right? Yeah. There's nothing so far. They're not live. Can you go back to the the uh, YouTube video for a second? Yeah. There, go back to the video. Uh, so, 1,500 views, 26, 261 likes. I don't know, buddy. I mean, it's more alive in this place. Well, of course it's more alive than here. Mind you, Andy literally has all his pay pigs in the server, like, constantly, like, refreshing and watching the videos over and over and over again. Well, that's true, yes. Not not something we made up. That's what Ashton uh, told uh, us that Worski does. But they person, don't believe us anyway when we person say Person has Brian on 50 socks sitting in the chat refreshing over and over. So yeah, I have so Brian. <laughs> so. the real view, but I am. That's why you'll like notice a thousand views get cut off my streams after like three days because it's all Brian socks. They all have the same IP address. It's all Brian. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Uh, did you see on your last stream? There was, as the stream ended, there was a guy in the comments. The same profile, and he did like 30, 30 comments, and I thought immediately, this has to be Brian. Like, total meltdown, Oh, yeah, you comments. know what, I want to... Sh dude, that like was interesting. Two hours later, all the comments were gone. All the comments like were two gone. Hours later, all the comments were gone. I know, I tried to show them, but they were all deleted. Look, so... Let's see, comments. Why can't I see the comments now on this stream? 
that's weird. Where are my comments? There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. None of them are there anymore. There were like 40 comments. He oh. deleted them all. I think, it, <laughs> I think so. I woke up the next day and thought, wow. This was this was yeah, he, oh, they're that all deleted. deleted. All they're all gone. What the fuck? He woke up from the bride zone and just deleted all of them. Holy crap, you're right. They're all gone. I had like a hundred notifications yesterday on this video. Oh, that's one, that's one. Joe yeah, but... 3506, that was it. But he had like 30 comments. He had like over 30 comments, yeah. Slide like, of reference I had a rant. All, see, yeah. you could see he's being tagged over and over, and over again, but the comments are all gone. Go to the bell, click the bell per, per sec. My bell? And scroll down, you can see a preview maybe of the comments. Right. Yeah, yeah, I saw his name there. You missed it. If you go up, back up. Right there. Yeah, here's one. Get a real job. But there were there were like 30 or 40 of these. <laughs> A lot of them. There was a lot of them. Like the stream just ended, and there was like 15 comments. That it was Let's see all if I John Gold. Further back. Let's see. No. Yeah, I don't know how they do that. Like the, it just. Yeah, they're all gone. I don't understand it. It was just Brian, Brian woke up from the Brian zone. He exited the Brian zone. Oh, look at this comment. Comments, thought, I didn't even notice shit. this comment. Persip, I wanted to Massburg here and just for a second to give you some solace that you aren't losing your mind. It is correct to say complex numbers are related to the higher dimension. Yeah, I know. Surfer didn't understand what I was talking about. And when I tried to explain it to Surfer, he just goes, you don't know the definition. And I said, Surfer, you're trying to say like infinity and an infinitesimal is it's not a real number. These are like concepts. There's no such thing as a quantity that is approaching zero. There's no such thing as a quantity that's infinite. It's That's not a quantity at all. So you can't do an equation when you... Whatever. It's unimportant. <laughs> now that we've got a few minutes left, I, I want to say this. I think you should do a stream. I think maybe like December or whatever when Medecker does his like yearly yeah. I'm leaving stream. And just go over the entire history medicare like really research everything up all the clips all the uh, things well the problem through. is is that i've done so many streams on the medicare stuff we could cover this at the end now now that we're done with the ppp video here but i mean like a really solid one like you know like the gator streamer you have everything laid out in a nice like one hour and a like half format the gator stream I i'm best at co i'm the only person who could cover gator and make him interesting I thought about the Goblins and Gator stream where he had like all the clips. Yeah, well, and fuck you, the okay? I'm the only person who could cover Gator and make him <laughs> interesting. That's what I heard. And you're right. I could do it with Jim. I got to do that. Um, the problem is, is I've covered it like 50 million times, you know? So I don't think, like, the audience, you know, is just going to complain and throw tomatoes the whole time. And then, like, years yeah. from now, they'll say they like it. Like the Chagat stream. Do you remember, like, the ch the chat from the Chagat stream at first? They were all like, we hate this. We don't want this. Now it's, like, the greatest stream of all time. I don't understand it, how the chat's mind works, but... Maybe we don't listen to the chat. Yeah, well, they're like, irrelevant. the chat is Brian Dunn. <laughs> half the chat is the Brian Dunn, and he's going to spam tomatoes even away. <laughs> so that's some new Medicare stuff that's, like, never been seen before. Or, well, has been seen, but it's been a long time since it's been a race scene. Have to find it all, but I think I could give you like a bunch of really good stuff. Well, I don't know, boys. Can I we not? Jim is dying, you guys. Remember? Yeah, they are going live. I don't really want to. Watch but I'm not interested, really. I'm with you, Swag. I mean, I'm kind someone's of gonna send me an image gonna, of whatever goofy fucking costume they go they're anyway. gonna wear, and then I'll laugh at that. That's if they like talk all about really me, I'll about. talk about it. I tried to explain to Surfer that zero is not, it's not technically a real number. It's imaginary and real at the same time, because there's no such thing as something that exists in reality that is zero, but... Well, nothing is nothing, buddy. Right. Nothing is nothing. It's not a number. Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, it has no nothing. quantity. 
Yeah, I was trying to explain it to Surfer. Didn't understand what I was saying. He thought I was like almost like waxing philosophical or something. But okay. Mm. Like when I talked about dimensions with Surfer, he thought I'm like talking about like alternate realities. He didn't understand what I was saying. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I get it. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> they have zero clue as to what is going on at this point. Cancer, autoimmune, kidney stones. Now the kidney stones are magically gone now. It's something else, right? Or is, are the kidney stones back? The kidney stones have keep it. disappearing and repaying. Kidney stones, fragility, fractures caused by osteo, heart attack, loss of sensation. How does it's, he have uh... loss of sensation and numbness and say he's an incredible <laughs> pain? Don't understand. Loss of mobility. Loss of hearing. Diminished vision. Getting close to the end. One year ago, by the way. Yeah, it's a wonder drug. This is baby aspirin and Tordal. 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 Tordal is like one of the weakest drugs we can give you. Tordal. Yeah, but, Tordal. but all these problems are magically fixed because he took a pill. He took a pill and magically he's not numb anymore and he doesn't have kidney stones anymore. And his back the, is fixed. I've never said Toradol. Read the impression, by the way, um, in the, the screenshot he post. What, 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 what's that now? In the long image, read the impression. The impression? What yeah, it's mean? in the screenshot. The long, the long post is on your screen. Yeah. It's like the white text, the typewriter font. Yeah. Read the impression. It's like the final paragraph. In we that. read this already. Oh, did you? Did you read the loss of body height? Yeah, yeah, I read this. Okay. That's why I was confused what you meant. I definitely okay. read that. So that means he's actually probably shorter than Ralph. At this point, if, that, if we, that's true. So he says he moved completely over to opiates to control his pain, but. Now he's forgotten that, and now he's just starting opiates. Oh, he's just oh wait, been starting on, opiates for six years. Wait, so did Jim say he has cancer or he doesn't have cancer? He doesn't know. He's making it up as he's going along, man. Yeah, because I don't know if you have this one, Deep Throat. This is a, this is a classic. I posted it in the, in the chat of the Discord here. Yeah, the lymphoma. Which is cancer. He has cancer and lymphoma and autoimmune well, disease Hashimoto's. Yeah. <laughs> like, how many fucking diseases does he have? Well, I think he counts some of the diseases like three times. Man, there's, the ar there's the archives of that one. Right? The Hashimoto's has been around forever. Cancer, lymphoma, and Hashimoto's. There are a lot of things going on that can't explain and don't fit under either, and it is confusing to them. What's it? This is 2021. Yes. So they started testing Jack. That's a uh, Jack Jack two uh, Jack two paraneoplastic syndromes and enrolled me in a new program. Guess what? Jim didn't have any of those. He didn't have any Jack two mutations. He doesn't have para neoplastic syndrome he's not in any new program and they still have no idea it's been three years you should explain to the audience he comes back on the cancer thing too like i remember him saying that he does in the when he got for the boogie i think he said that it's not actually cancer what he has it's this like uh maybe i'm mistaken i don't know jack too i think is linked to because uh red blood cells yeah it's like the production of them yeah, so that, that's also I can't tell that... you exactly what the mutation is in the red blood cells. I don't remember, but I know it's uh, it has to do with uh, red blood cell production. But it's not cogenital, guys. He has like all these issues. None of it's cogenital. It's not congenital. No, I mean it would have come up. He would have evidence. He would have a diagnosis yeah, no, if it was. Yeah, what I'm saying is, he just has all this stuff. But none of it's cogenital, which totally makes sense. It, none of it makes any sense. It makes less and less sense. When he to his newest stuff is so batshit nuts 
It just makes no sense. You can't be going into hospice for three years and dying in terminal and get major reconstructive back surgery. It's just not going to happen. You could have a super rare illness and it's plausible. What's something that's not, well, it's not plausible. It's incredibly unlikely, but it's possible. Chat disconnected. Please wait while we reconnect you. I don't know what's going on. Um, well, you know what's funny? In a lot, I've noticed in a lot of these older tweets, there's a lot of like people who are like doctor, or medical people in like the comments. Like, what? They're like all asking, "What do you mean?" Like, they're like, "This yeah, well, doesn't, doesn't make, make any, any sense." sense. <laughs> and I mean, I don't even have that. I don't have an incredible amount of, uh, you know, education in in medicine. You know, I have. A basic education in medicine I can I I've never heard of now I do have a lot of experience in healthcare I do not have uh, I've never heard of any of these things that he brings up never seen it never heard of it never heard of somebody's eye going crazy and almost falling out of their head and then taking baby baby aspirin as a cure and then leaving the hospital he literally his story is after he had a seizure, his eye is rolling around. He doesn't know where he is. He's incomplete. Like, he's completely fucked out of his mind. And then he gets up and leaves after a baby aspirin. Something. It's just not a real story. It it's was one hell real. of a baby aspirin, buddy. It fucking cured him. Yeah, but if you have all of those things going wrong with you, are you really going to get up and leave the ER? Would Unless you're a hypochondriac them? and afraid of COVID. You know what I mean? He's died. He was supposedly on death's door. What are you afraid of COVID for? It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, people who are really dying don't really care that much anymore when they're towards the end. They just don't care anymore. But Jim is like, we had to leave the ER because uh, I didn't want COVID. <laughs> it's my eye falls out of my head. <laughs> Floating eyeball syndrome, buddy. <laughs> I never heard of anything. Jim is like the purple man. He's falling apart. That's I mean, Paro Neoplat, that's like, we're really out there. You notice every illness Jim has is super rare, and he has all of them. He has all of the rarest illnesses all at once. Because I, I, the, the actual vector for that disease and what it actually is... It's not even really well understood. It's some kind of immune dysfunction when you have cancer where the cancer attacks your nervous system. But it's not particularly well understood. It's just that Jim has all of the rarest, most unexplainable illnesses. After getting TB. Yeah, after, well, the TB was, there's no diagnosis for TB in his medical report. So that was just completely made up. He just doesn't even acknowledge that. When you ask him about the T, when you ask him about the tuberculosis, he just ignores you like that never happened. Yeah, I did the math on it, and there was like one person in the entire state of Minnesota who fit his demographic profile that would have had one or two. Well, Jim is that one age. person. And after he got, after he was the one in like 330 million people in the United States to get TB, no, 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 that, he no, got one, super one rare million. cancer. He got a rare congenital issue that is undiagnosable, that is turning his bones to glass. He got a rare congenital illness that is destroying his nervous system. He got a rare congenital illness that is causing him to have kidney stones and organ failure. He had a rare heart attack at 42 years old and survived it by some miracle. At 42 years old, he survived a major heart attack. All of it is just not, it's just nonsense. Pure and his nonsense. Cord, all that stuff. I'm tired of even pretending like this is plausible. He'd have a better chance of winning the lottery 20 times in a row. There should be like a real doctor. Some should be a real doctor to review this or something. Like there really does doctor. need to be a real, a real doctor is going to look at this and go, this doesn't make any sense. Just like every real doctor that Jim has gone to. And told him, you know, and done all these diagnostic tests and they say, we don't know what's wrong with you. I mean, there are real doctors that are probably saying to him, like, we don't know what's wrong with you. Maybe your wife needs to stop feeding you like toxic waste or something. That's the only real explanation is if Jim is like living in toxic waste. 
then it makes sense if it's like Aaron Brock. He's like an Aaron Brockovich type case where they had like toxic waste and they were drinking it in the water and then their organs and bones were disintegrating. That's the only explanation. Now, is he lying on purpose or does he actually believe it? Is the question. I don't know. I really don't know. That is the most, uh, that is the biggest question. Is Does he just have Munchausen's or what? I don't know. It might be just a psychi- psych- psychiatric thing where he thinks it's all true and he's just being placated. It's part of this has to be psychiatric. Because every time he brings up the drugs, it's all psych drugs. Like, if you looked at the drugs he's taking, half of them are psych drugs. Now, I've heard of giving people who have horrible illnesses, a lot of times they give them an antidepressant or they give them clonopin, anti-anxiety. Sometimes when they they give them Versed even, they give them, you know, whatever to calm them down. But Jim has like a cocktail of psych, psy, you know, like psychoactive drugs and no drugs that treat cancer or bones or any of these other things. <laughs> there just is no explanation. They're telling you to check Esso Shaggy's Twitter for whatever reason. Check Esso Shaggy's Twitter. Okay, we'll, we'll check in with Esso Shaggy. And, um... Actually, one thing before I go, I just wanted to say, uh, if you want new content, first pick has been given the, the golden briefcase and fresh new keynote. Yeah, and- I was going to do a viewing with these guys, but now it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. I'm just saying, I have a oh, lot of... Oh, shit! Ideas. What's this? Total Kino, total Casino Death. I declare war on the Kino Casino. This will be a four-month campaign. Oh, my God. For a year, they defame me. Time for me to tell her the truth about their evil operation. Annihilation of Worski's corrupt discord. Reveal top jannies and capos. Expose the rot permeating. Let's see. Flaked and baked. Medicare masochist. Iron yeah. wolf spear. Well, that's oh, another yeah, that's one. Nice. That's the easy dox. Yeah, Exodus Americanus. I'm not sure who that is. El Rari is another easy dox. He's been around forever. Yeah. Remember when he used to hang off Donga's nuts? El Rari? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I remember that. That's the benefit of being like a super old fag. <laughs> we recognize the names right away, Squire. <laughs> Both of the, these two have already been doxed us. And he knows it already. And two of these people have already been fully doxed, right? Medicare Masochist and Flaked and Baked. I think yes. it's supposed to be a joke. He has the pic- he has his picture in the. Like, well, I the... know it's supposed to be a joke. Oh shit! Proclamation of Esoteric Shaggy. Well, if you do Esoteric Shaggy, it's like half a joke. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wanted for sweeping and faggotry. Tarnsky Kappas. Gorgoth. That sounds familiar. Who? It sounds familiar, Gorgoth. That does sound familiar. Renegotiate. Oh, I should send. I have. Oh, yeah, that guy. It's your boy, Psycho. A... He was already doxxed. Well, Purple he's already doxxed. Raziel 1984. That's another person that's been around a long I'm, time. I may or may not know all those names. Yeah. Like, actually. The Purple Haze <laughs> and that Raziel 1984, I know. Uh, yeah. Rewards of $5,000. $1,000. Chad, if you want each. some easy money, you just got to go to, like, Ralph's thread where he had got all the people docs from Killstream Live and just fucking all the names are there. Oh, wanted <laughs> dead or alive, money. notorious faggots, pay piggies, Makuba, Helen Barrow, Dugum. I don't even know those ones. For aiding and abetting extreme gluttony, alcoholism, drug abuse, and for introducing box wine into the Canadian territory. <laughs> and what's the last one? <laughs> O'Seer. That one sounds oh, familiar. Oh, fucking O'Seer. Oh, that piece of shit. Yeah. Lord Aragon. That guy is... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord Aragon's a Phil Pay pig. Yeah, we know who these guys are. And yeah. Mr. Ballwell. That one I don't know. Mr. Don't Ballwell. Know that, that must be a change. That, that must be a guy has literally banned, I think, probably like 10,000 people Everybody. from Wardski's Yeah, chats. anybody and even the slightest negative comments. Like, e- if you even said, like, 
Andy looks off today. He fuck you get banned immediately. Yeah, I'm banned. That guy's easy to dox too. That's an easy one. If you want some easy money from uh, Shaggy there. This campaign will fully uncover the filth, the groomers, pederasts, and furry cross-dressers who make up the rank and file of the Kino Casino. <laughs> Fortunately, Andy Worski leaked this unholy alliance between the sickest freaks imaginable. Their fates are sealed. Well, let's watch this clip. This guy never did that in my chat. And then the rules now oh, are going Derek. to become, oh, oh now if you ever do anything that's deemed immoral, Derich? Phil might ban you from him. The thing with Derich is, I'm not making any excuses for Derich, but he is, like, literally mentally retarded. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, he shouldn't literally even be, like, retarded. like, he shouldn't even be allowed online. Like, he should literally no. have, like, a fucking handler. Like, he doesn't, like, understand shit. He's, like, completely, like, like low-functioning autist. He's really yeah, low. Uh, his parents bought really DSP was a tender. Yeah, well, the yeah, parents really literally like, had you the watch DSP your fucking raise him. Kid. He's like retarded. He doesn't know any better. No, they literally. Derek has been watching DSP since he's like 13. Since a kid, yeah. Yeah. It's kind DSP of did raise him. That's like his they son. They literally put it. That's why he's like a weirdo degenerate now. It's <laughs> fucking Phil. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of Phil, but definitely Phil compounded the issue for sure. Yeah, I don't think Derek that, that a is chance. what these people create, you know. The Kino Casino and TSP, these editor daycares for retarded people. You know, that's the kind of person that comes out of this. The community, like in Let's see what this says. He's figuring out uh, in, uh, in Woski's uh, Discord, sitting there right now. Sometimes in life you have to hold the L, and sometimes bad people yeah, are going to win. Yeah, but that's just sometimes the reality. you got to hold that L, buddy. Sometimes bad people, people win. A pedophile, and you're basically admitting sometimes he's a pedophile. Oh no, let's say this. Okay, 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 so okay. So let's say this. I don't know anything about that because I make it a philosophy. I do not personally oh my God, research my viewers. I suck. think that's fucking creepy. That I would spend my time. Every time that someone says something about someone, I gotta go search their socials. I gotta go to their YouTube page and someone else. Oh, please, Phil. Phil. Derek literally was like doing massive shout outs to Phil in between, <laughs> like, you know, like Dixie wrecked, you know, like Dixie, uh, Dixie loves cum or something on Twitter, you know. <laughs> I loved your fisting scene, Dixie loves no. cum. No, no. By the way, I love Phil. Today, this is the anniversary of Phil playing Dark Souls. It was like literally like right in between. So Phil absolutely knew. Oh it's shit, are the, costume, are the costumes been revealed? Yes. Check, yes, they check, are check, check, check their stream. That's they all I wanted to see the was the costumes. costumes. Yeah. Oh my, oh, oh my, my god. Fucking god. Oh, Adam, my wake god. the fuck up, Adam. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Wake up, Adam! Five subs, Discoy knows. Oh five my five God! Subs. Oh my Damn. God! Oh my God! Holy! Gimco brand felt. And the name. Oh my God! And the words of Kino Casino. Holy! I skipped it ten spooky stuff. Look at Eddie. So Ashton oh, literally yeah. dressed up as John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> He's dressed as John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, he is. Hold on, I gotta get a good one of this. Can you mute it? Holy fuck. This is all they make, these crazy fucking noises. No, it's all part of the demonic experience. I'm not, I can't listen to this shit. Look at all this shit. What the fuck? Suffer Horse has gifted five subs! He literally looks like fucking John Wayne Gacy. What are you doing? Why would he dress up as John Wayne Gacy? <laughs> what the fuck, man? Revolutionary <laughs> He comes back off the pedal thing and he dresses up as John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> oh my god. What 
the you fuck, are man? As if did he shave his head? What, what a great start to Keith uh, I don't know what is going on. Oh my, this is fucking disturbing. <laughs> what the Let's fuck? Adam, wake up! Yeah, fucking mute it. The chat's right. Just put the hat on Hold on. I bet you you missed us. Oh my god. Holy I like shit. all the I like all the artistic Look screaming. Look at Ashton. He literally looks like he's just like Jim Sterling. He's literally wearing makeup. Look at that. He's got clown makeup he's on. Dr it's John Wayne Gacy, bro. Oh my god. Well, 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 an orange you know. John. Look at this. Look. Well, well. Look at the look, look, look at the comparison. We need a side by side, buddy. But I, by the way, I have a side by side like on the stream. Well, I can't see it. And he's literally dressed like Teddy Caesar, by the way. Like, he literally looks like Teddy. He's, he's supposed to be Charlie Brown. Cool. Well, he looks like Teddy, though. He's got a bald cap on. Oh, my God. Oh, that's freaky. Now I'm seeing it. Uh, but last year they were living together, and uh, Waski always put all the makeup on PPP. Who's putting the makeup yeah. on PPP this year? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, whoever did it did a shitty job because you can see on the neckline where it's not covered all properly. Is Ashton wearing a bald cap or did he shave his head? It doesn't look like a bald cap, but it's hard to tell. PPP just has a pumpkin thing on his... On a set set, and you just can't see us. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. Why would he come back as John Wayne Gacy? Because this he is has, really uh, going to kill the pedo ac accusations. Because he has no self awareness, buddy. That's why. This reminds me of like you know, like Quiet on Set. So they go to the yes. pedophile's house, right? And the pedophile has is dressed like a pumpkin. Has not only <laughs> pro he's dressed like a pumpkin. He not only has so if you watch Quiet on Set, right? They go to this pedophile's house. I can't remember his name currently uh cuz I'm so distracted, but they go to his house and he's got like paintings from John Wayne Gacy and then he has like signed letters from John Wayne Gacy in the house. This yeah. is what yeah, it's yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what this is. Yeah, Ashton, do you have signed paintings from John Wayne Gacy in the house? Bro, well, we know that Dude, uh, look Joey, at them Joey dancing Beezer around has... like retards. What the fuck is this? We know Joey well, Beezer they, has what, the what signed hat. And shit? He's got the signed hat. Buddy. Like, what is so, this? I don't know. What man. is this? I don't know. I don't know. That is, is fucking disturbing, though. Like, I can't believe, like, oh. Look at the little dances Wosky keeps doing. He's got to like, know that he yeah. looks like one what of the most doing? notorious he's, he's pedophiles in history. Serial killer pedophiles in history. Like, he's got to know. The it's got to be on purpose. Like, what is this little weird dance? Thing? On, like, how to hypnotize retarded people. Wosky read that up uh, while they were on vacation. He's doing he the fucking... Tricks. He's doing retarded retard dances. Dance. It's a fucking retard dance. <laughs> oh at my god. Tree. Without sound, he looks like he looks so retarded. Like he is, he's gonna have screaming his stupid game dancing. Up. Like holy fuck. <laughs> oh god, that's a Why do <laughs> What is this outfit though? I don't know. I'm stealing that fucking meme he posted though. Oh, I've already posted on Twitter and stuff. That's what I've been doing in the background. That's Rudy beautiful. Is there any shot there? I think some quick ducky. He says he's excited for the Beardson segment. This is a really good. No one excited is excited for the, for the Beardson, Beardson segment. Are you no one's excited. For you have to be severely dented. Why? Because this is like crazy. Like, when we even watched the last time they talked about Beardson on the Kino Casino, like that had to be, it has to be have been a, at least a year since they brought up Beardson. Like who cares about yeah. Beardson? Because Nick loves me. <laughs> And Wurzel Root loves me, and it's like he's on like the verge of tears. The verge of tears trying to call him that his life's I think Ashton actually shaved his head. I don't think that's a ball cap. 
wouldn't think I don't know. I'm so is confused by what's going on on that ball head. Cap. It's a really good it's ball cap. You can't even see any kind of like hair bulbs or anything. Like, so much like DST versus Ralph and now Cog. The whole DST versus Ralph. Update. Well, apparently Phil and Cog have been having Does Andy have a black eye? Andy always looks like he has a black eye. In the mire and well, the he really looks like he's got a black eye tonight. I mean, but I think the costume pretty much confirms that they're just not going to talk about the pedophile accusations. Well, no, no I mean, not. that's they're for the like best. Down on it. <laughs> that's for the best. But I wouldn't come back dressed as John Wayne Gacy and not talk about the pedophile allegations. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a little too on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> Why would possess you to dress up as John Wayne Gacy as a pumpkin? Does he think the pumpkin makes a difference? Oh, it can't. It just never ends with him. He even has the John Wayne Gacy eyebrows. Quick clog update. Clown eyebrows. Clog update. Oh my gosh. Turn this shit off. Turn this fucking shit off. There's a cog update. Turn this. You don't want to hear the cog update? All right. Turn this shit off. I'm so fascinated. All right, can we just mute it? I just like looking at him. <laughs> I'm horrified. I don't want to look at this anymore. I'm That's so horrifying. horrified. This is like Hellraiser. The Hellraiser music is so. This is pot, for real. I have satanic. a crackpot theory. I have a crackpot theory. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think whoever did the makeup for PPP, PPP didn't even make the connection with John Wayne Gacy, and whoever did the makeup for him really wanted to pull a prank on him. How do you, you not know he? Lo how do you not know that looks like John Wayne Gacy? I don't know. He kind of looks Maybe like a cross look between. He looks like a cross between Gacy and the Bjork stalker. Yeah, and the Bjork stalker. Well, yeah, it's like a weird unholy. The lines, like, the style. lines on him look like the Bjork stalker. Yeah, he's just like below the, the head. Stalker mixed with the fucking Broadway Gacy. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrifying. And then Andy, Andy just looks like Teddy. Yeah, Andy just looks like a guy in a Charlie Brown yeah, shirt Andy, Andy, with the ball Andy cap. Put no effort into his costume. Zero effort. No. Zero effort. He did As put Ashton. How long do you think it took him to even do that? I don't know. I literally think he probably what he does is he probably just gets one of those little like uh, kids bathtubs, you know, that the yeah, the little kids pools, and just fucking throws it full of paint and just fucking rolls around in it. For I a think minute. well, there's like a sprayer that you could use. It's like, you know what they use for, like, the spray tans? And you could just spray yourself down. And he must just draw on the rest of it. But it's quite elaborate. Somebody had to have done that. He didn't do that. If he did it, I mean, I don't even know what to say if he did do that outfit. Maybe maybe Worski's meth maid came over and did it for him. Wow. I mean, it's so obnoxious, we can't really listen to it, so we'll kind of leave it here, I guess, and we'll pick back up on I mean, we, do we really need to say anything else? <laughs> yeah, we do. Of course we do. There's I always more to say. I don't want to be a clown, buddy. I'm not a clown. You know, when you put the like, like DSP says, once you put the clown makeup on, it doesn't come off. Buddy. Well, we were talking to a guy... I, Squire, when you, you know, when we quote him, is that was a guy that died, like, that's a corpse that's been dead in the yeah. ground for like four years. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not the same guy. <laughs> wow. I made, I made a hundred thousand well, dollars last year. Look at how I, I give him props on the effort, and he's got it. He has such an elaborate costume on, and he's next to Andy, who's in a dollar store. Like literally a dollar store Halloween costume. Like a garbage bag. Like like his bald his bald uh like hat is like way too big for his head. Well you know like the clearance, like at the dollar store a lot of times clearance after Halloween they'll have like yeah. the really terrible Halloween costumes. That's yeah. what Andy Andy just picked that up and it was just like okay, I mean how come anyway. how come Joey Beezer couldn't have just sent him a fucking nice costume? Like what the fuck, Joey? Well, Andy was together. too coked out to figure out how to put on anything besides a t-shirt. And, and, and a beanie be the that's... Biggest clown on his own show. <laughs> it's just a beanie that's skin-colored.
Yeah. It's not even a bald cap. That's giving you too much credit. Is it even a Charlie Brown shirt? Because it looks like a sumo wrestler shirt or some weird shit. Look how uh, it's, it's folded so in, conf- in the middle. It's so confused. It's just so confused. I don't know what's going on. But Ashton's really looking very feminine in this fucking pumpkin outfit, though, I gotta say. Well, yeah, he looks like John Wayne Gacy is a 600-pound lesbian. <laughs> he really is super androgynous looking in that outfit. Because it looks like he has real women's tits. He does have vertical stretch marks. That's true. Look at that. That's well, I think wild. that <laughs> is that's drawn on clearly, but it makes him look like the Bjork stalker. <laughs> you know, because oh it's lines on God. a pumpkin, but yeah, it, it just makes him look more like a Bjork stalker. It looks very. What is off. he doing? He's getting Gary, Gary, Gary. Swear to God, he's flicking his wrists around and. Maybe his boyfriend painted him. Yeah, Kry- Kryler could be Charlie Brown. Yeah, where's Kryler? He could have been Charlie Brown. And Probably Andy could have been Snoopy. Yeah. Andy could have been Snoopy. Like, what the fuck? Too much effort. That's, yeah, that's way too much effort. Too much okay. Piece of shit. A million, like, while I was taking the Oh, God, why'd you put the audio back on? I hear. I had a new co-host. You had a new co-host. I'm back oh, on yeah. co Apparently, you, you were on going said to that. Low Cow Live? I'm now a Low like, Cow Live How co-host. would that even make sense? What the fuck no are one talking said about? That. They just come up with the craziest fucking shit. Literally. The craziest shit. Tetra Pax has gifted get 20 it. Oh, my God. Oh, God. It's so Perfect. painful, they isn't it? You can't even listen to it. All right, we're ending the stream. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, you know, we gotta end on a palate cleanser. Should I should I pull something out of the archives, buddy? Yeah, come please. Please. Well, let me find something. Everybody screaming mute it, mute it, mute it. <laughs> Why do they have to do that scream? Let's get some real fucking content. Because they have to uh, make it entertaining. They have to appeal to children. Audience. You're right, chat. To have to appeal to it's children. It's for the children. It's it's for the children. Well, they're always screaming. If you ever watch like that Minecraft shit or like PewDiePie yeah. or any of these people, Markiplier, oh, yeah, like Ninja. they're Ninja always, always screaming. Ninja. Yeah, Ninja. Yeah. They're always just screaming. Screaming, right. screaming, shrill screams like a woman the whole time. That's the All whole right, thing. Chat. I have I have the whole archive in front of me. What what should I what sh- what kind of content? What what should we end with? They said Adam and Persip are broke. Well, I know that I think they probably are talking about me because I read his lips and I saw Persip. But we can't even listen back to it because they're stuck on, you know, we can't well, even Well, someone listen. will clip it out, I'm sure. No, they won't. If anything, they never do. I'll Let's go, uh, uh, I don't know. Let's just, just end this. Come on, Squire, give me a... Uh, well, we're, I'm we're looking... too uh, long. Like, give me something. I told you. Give me. I'm literally in the whole archive. I don't know what the fuck. Give me a cooking with surfer. Oh. All right. Give me a second. Yeah, that's a real cat pl- palate cleanser. Uh, should we do? I think we've done surfer foreshadowing. Uh, Ashen's future. We got. Uh... Oh. Oh, that's a good one, but I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I we can't play this one. I'll get flagged down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can't play this one either. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! I have the per- I, I have every day, but there will the be perfect. something. Yeah. Pretty much every day this month. So that's the expectation what? we want to set. The odd day we might be off, but for the most part. From the 1st to the 31st, you're going to get a stream every day. Also, on the Gum Road, I'm well, doing totally my own of version breath. of Monster Madness. You might have seen the first review. How long is yeah, this going to look? Kino you Cathedral can see the paint channel. melting I off his I saw chest. the TV glow. <laughs> it's some tranny <laughs> propaganda, <laughs> buddy. Did you jack off? Oh, look at he's melting. Fuck off, <laughs> No, Look, he's melting. No, the paint no. is melting around his neck. Yeah, so Ash is going to be doing that. His own <laughs> Look at that. version of Monster Madness. You should probably he's make melting. your own name for it. 
also oh my a Gumroad. It's Kino Madness. <laughs> Kino Madness. So Gameless disturbing. Let's just call everything uh, Kino. But... I, I also, on the month off, after oh, I came back from vacation, don't wiggle I like started that. coding on Unreal 5. <laughs> I'm developing a game, and it's doing it's oh, quite amazing right now. It's going so well. I'll be posting devlogs on Gumroad. So if, you want, if you're interested in that shit, you want to see what I'm, I'm up to, that to, go sub and watch that too. Plus, What's talk that? Game developer. Andy those, said he's a game uh, developer team, now. <laughs> I think he's actually done that, Griff, top. multiple times. Episode game 23. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Sadie, guys, we're, we're doing a recap game, of like all the stuff we missed in September. I think he's been yeah. saying that we're also going to be covering the new yeah, series. Yeah, he has happened. been saying that for But there was a lot. We forgot about that when we were doing the list. All right, I added it. All right, turn this shit off. I sent you a link. Okay. Play that. Then then All they'll right. it'll end us off on a high note. Alright, let's let's end this off. I don't even know what to say about any of this. Squire. My friends, That's the right, crisis that I am seeing today here in the U Kino Casino and other parts of the form the sector is very oh, wait, different wait, 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 wait. from what it's I gotta fix this. Because it was it was cropped on a. Uh... Oh, don't fucking crop it, buddy! What the fuck? Yeah, well, it was cropped for their stream was cro cropped for kick, but the chat has to see this in its full glory. This is a re this is a real uh, commercial, by the way. This was a real commercial. I'm not kidding. I thought I was like having like a, a schizophrenic episode one night, like watching. Uh... Uh, like cheaters Television. at like 3 a.m. And this was on. I was like, what the fuck? Well, Ralph had plays this, so the audience is probably familiar with it. Ralph plays this all the time. But oh, no, I'm talking sure. about this exact ad. Like, oh, this exact know, ad. This exact, okay. This exact ad, buddy. Yes. I have seen this as well. It's been in the past you know. 20 years. The situation has got well, gotta much, play much worse. Kidding, buddy. Fuck, in fact, I would call it Okay. I gotta fix it still anyway. It doesn't make sense that it's cropped. It doesn't make sense in the cropping, but... It's like Get part it together, of it's still cut it's... off. What How come thing? Andy can fucking do OBS and you can't? Like, what the fuck? That's all I could do OBS. Of a I could do it okay. My friends, the crisis that I am seeing today here in the U... Kino Casino. ...and other parts of the form... ...the sector is very different from what it's been in the past 20 years. The situation has gotten much, much worse. In fact, I would call it catastrophic. Elderly are getting older. There's bubble blood. Holocaust survivors are dying every day. These people are alone. These people oh my feel God. abandoned. And they are. Oh my God. Like, look at me. That's I, cool. I'm Hold famished. I need some fucking cookies. I'm famished. I'm fucking wasting away to nothing. To nothing. Does nobody care for my plight? Like, this is like I'm in, like, Auschwitz or something. There's no cookies. What am I gonna do? That, that is so sad. I'm emaciated. Like, all of the fat has been sucked out of it's my tough. face. I'm like a skeleton. It's crazy. I want you to see the face, to see the eyes of we're these Jewish, people. Man. Don't I mean, wait for tomorrow to help. When it's the just help so is sad needed. how the world is treating these right Holocaust now. survivors. Tomorrow, my Dearly friends. starving. It's tough. It's really it's tough. It's tough. Oh my god. The Zabel dying. Sure you, Holocaust make survivor. Sure you, make sure you give generously, chat. Make sure you give generously. <laughs> Look, they have to fight each other for the last scrap of meat. Exactly, just... they're literally fighting over the Hanukkah cookies. Oh my god. The last two <laughs> remaining Jews. So persecuted. <laughs> Alright, so final word <laughs> is... Uh, uh... Holy fuck. Well, there's a lot popping off lately. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what kind of shots are going to be fired. We'll see what happens. Tough. And uh, 
Any final words, Squire, for the audience? Make sure you claim all of those uh, pay pig bounties from uh, SO Shaggy. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you could make like some I money said, they're, and donate they're all very to me. easy to find. You literally just go into um, just go into Ralph's thread of the killstream.tv or whatever the fuck that shit was called. All their names are there. <laughs> you have to give money because PPP can't eat any more Holocaust survivors. There's none left. Yeah, there's, there's none left. nothing left to you eat. Gotta give, he needs more of your money so he can get even fatter. So he can get fatter and, and look more like John Wayne Gacy <laughs> for Halloween. <laughs> he should literally just wear a fucking clown outfit. Like, what the fuck? Where's just the giant fat clown outfit? That's what I want. Hmm. So. Well, he's in it. I mean, we just saw it, Squire. What do you mean, where is it? Where's the fat clown outfit? I mean, it was literally just, just wearing it. Uh, oh, and uh, and we also learned that Worski has had like over forty different grifts over the year. <laughs> yeah, forty different grifts. And now he wants to be a game developer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a game developer, you guys. Kino for real. Person pay Brian one hundred forty-eight billion. Yeah, pay Brian. Person, okay. what the fuck? Well, join us next time where we'll recap where we left off on uh, this newest episode of the Scuffed Express. Juice! Juice! Where's my juice caller? Did he leave? All right. Juice again! I think he, I think he died. Yeah, he's supposed to, you know, if he's going to stay in here, might as well stay.